Come on in, friends. Come on in. What? Hello and welcome. Uh, how you all doing? How you all doing? Oh, God, that's a... Look how many bloody follows we got yesterday. That was bloody marvellous. My hair is a mess. But I've eaten. Fed. We're at... Wow, we're at triple three friendos, which is pretty bloody cool. Uh, Kyle's going to be joining us momentarily, making ourselves a cup of tea. And then we are ready to ride! So, come on in, come on in. I'm actually on time for once. Shocking, I know. I've been, I've been pretty much early for everything today. Hey, Alfred the Deluge Watto, friend! Come in, come in. Come on in, come on in, friends. Step a gen. Hello, what ho, friend? Come on in, come on in. You have plenty of time to grab yourself a cuppa. Ah, uh, Miss Semi, what? Oh, friend! Oh, you're off to Iceland tomorrow! That's freaking cool! <laughs> Banana Blues, we are playing the Blackout Club. It's not a cult. It's not a cult. It's just the Blackout Club. If anything, we are fighting cults today. Maybe. All supernatural horrors. Honestly, I'm not sure. Bad to be the spoopy Watto. Watto indeed, friends. Come on in, come on in. Waiting on Cal. So, Mizemi, whereabouts... I didn't... Oh my word. Uh, Miss Emmy, where in Iceland are you going to? And uh, if you see the uh, the CCP Eve monument, give it a give it a photo. Uh, Wilhelm von Crab battle is firmly uh, is firmly on that monument. Feck knows where. There's a lot of names on it. Okay, Banana Blues, I will technically give you this one because technically, yes, it is. Our oh, stances says lurking away. You're like a radio station for me while I work. Well, good. Today's radio station will be screaming incoherently, but I will have uh, I will have industry cool friend and just general legend uh, Kyle jumping on uh, jumping on stream to join me. Lizzie, what, oh friend? You're a terror. You're a terror. Lizzie, albeit briefly, it's lovely to see you. Um, I don't have to read that out, so I'm not going to. I'm not being usurped in my own home! Although I'm no ruler. So yeah. I have a package to open. Um, in the event that we get a Lily Longbean in chat, I, I have a box, no idea what's in it. So we'll have a, a teeny tiny unboxing today. Well, I say teeny tiny, it's a bloody big box. And we are gonna have Kyle on. So we're going back to the Blackout Club for some bloody reason. I just didn't manage to scare the piss out of myself enough last time. Games industry is surprisingly quiet. And I'm okay with this. Oh, I mean, I guess the little thing. Steam's added a few more experiments. Which is kind of interesting. Banana, you are a terror this morning. What are you like? Cryo sticks. What, oh friend? Come on in, people. Come on in. Uh, Misemi, uh, I am going to play Borderlands 3. I don't know when. Uh, I don't currently have a copy of it. And I might do it, uh, might do his little co-op thing with Fiona. I think that'd be a lot of fun. 
Oh, yes, Alpha, thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna hoover those up now. All right. So, right now, dear friends, if you're heading over to the Epic Store, there is the app, there's the Batman Arkham Collection and the Batman, uh, the Lego Batman Trilogy. Just because. Fire Lizard Watto, friend! Nom nom, fire to Watto! Come on in! Come on in! Ooh. Why does my bum hurt? Oh, I know, it's because I'm sitting my feckin' keys, aren't I? Good work, Will, good work! Good thing I'm not the brains of the operation, you know what I'm saying? So, literally, while we're chatting, I'm gonna hoover up the, the Arkham Collection. Because that's always a fascinating one to talk about. Although I do find it funny that, um... Even though it's a free game, it still goes to the full payment process. And sends me a little, like, um, thank you email for my purchase. I'm like, don't thank me, I just... I basically just nabbed it for free! Tiles is certainly not the brains. on fire, sits on keys, job's done, time to work. But seriously, there's a crap load of Batman games free on the Epic Store at the moment, go grab them. Because the Arkham Trilogy is fucking great. And like, as games discuss about like reimagining the fucking brilliance of titles, Ah, Cheryl and what, oh friend? And also, thank you again, yo. I hope you're doing good. Um, yeah, Cheryl and gave us a copy of. Um, I don't want to say Phantom Break. Where is my mind today? All right, come on, coffee. I need to do your job. I need to do your job. Oh, there we go. Astral Chain, thank you. So I got uh, I got something to tear into, and I'm very very grateful for that. Especially considering I got a flight for TwitchCon and stuff coming up. Oh, do we have a Kyle? We do have a Kyle. Kyle says I'm here. You specifically, however, asked for a blend. I did ask for a blend. So let's dicey dungeons. Let's bring you down for just a moment lovely as you are. And let's see if we have a friendo on the line! Excuse me, I have this line for Kyle. Is this them? Go for, go, go, go for Kyle. Go for Kyle. Go for Kyle! I got nothing, I got nothing. Um, so who else is coming in? So Eremon, Fire Lizard, uh, who have I not given a proper hi howdy to? Right, well, Kyle, Kyle's not there for noon. So we give it, give it two more. Give it a wee more. Uh, also gives me a couple, a, chub, a couple of moment. no! Gives me a couple of moments to cook a tweet for once. So, dear friends, how are you all doing? As I was saying earlier, games industry is real quiet at the moment. Uh, Epic Game Store is doing the Batman, uh, well, it's doing six Batman games for the grand price of no money. Um, Untitled Goose Game comes out tomorrow, yeah! Uh, John Wick Hex has an October launch date, which would be real good. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's like if Hitman Go was mashed in with a um, uh, kind of classic John Wick. With a touch, with a dusting of like hex grid tactics, and it looks feckin' brilliant. Uh, there's going to be a new Terminator FPS. Uh, I reminded people about Terminator Future Shock and Skynet earlier today. Very few people had heard of it. Hindle had though, so I want to give a shout out to Hindle, being one of the few people on Twitter who went, "Yeah, I know, I know that." Hindle doesn't actually sound like that. I just didn't know what else voice to do. Oh yes, uh, Alpha the Deluge. Um, Link's Awakening does come out tomorrow. Kyle, I was I was yes. sit. Ah! <laughs> Let me turn you up, sir. I was just talking about you. 
Were you now? I was. I was. I was talking about the uh, the darkness that stalks the night and puts fear in criminals. Actually, I might have been talking about Batman. You That's may right. have been talking about Batman. Although I just did tweet a picture of uh, the Punisher saying, "Stay hydrated, or I will fucking shoot you." So. <laughs> Jesus, he doesn't fuck <laughs> around. Why would he? Um, Hydration is really important. We were mildly talking about um, the uh, the announcement of the new Terminator first-person shooter, but then I was reminding people of um, oh. Skynet and uh, Future Shock, the old ones. See, I saw that tweet, but I didn't know that there was a thingy, a new game yeah. coming out. Uh, oh, speaking of tweets, I'm actually going to cook one and belt it out now. So, ladies, gentlemen, and individuals of all persuasions, once again, I am joined by Industry Ledge, Friendo and fellow Blackout Club survivor, Kyle Gatto. Hey, Kyle! Hey, I wouldn't call myself a survivor, however. <laughs> I mean, we'll see what the feckin' devs have to say about that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm back. I'm just doing like a, we're going back! I'm once again joined by Kyle. And we... Apparently weren't messed up enough the first time, so we're going back to the Blackout Club. No, uh, Tal says, exactly can you ask Kyle there. if one litre of water is enough for a day? Um, it is enough for a day, but only if you double it. <laughs> Wrong but, like, no, you should honestly be drinking two litres of water a day. Hail hydration, he says, neck in a four-shot coffee. <laughs> We're like, you know, the, we're like, like the cloak and dagger of like the Marvel universe, like hydration and caffeination, like side by side. Yes. Their powers combined. I, I believe, I believe that is, that is it. Uh, so, friendos, let me know how it sounds. Let me know if Kyle's a little quiet. I have, I, I have boosted Kyle's powers. I'm just kind of a low talker in general. That's it's fair. the, it's the deep, sultry voice. I'm also mixing you with um, the uh, Dicey Dungeons theme songs, so there's that. And because apparently we didn't get messed up enough the first time, we are going back to the Blackout Club. And so, those of you who are joining us for the first time for this, I will explain the Blackout Club in just a second. Kyle, how you been? How have I been? Um, life is chaos. Been taking some naps. Everything is fine. Oh, man. Naps are like the one illicit substance I indulge these days. It's, it's honestly just extremely good to nap. <laughs> just, just do naps. Be crime, do naps. <laughs> I quite like that. Uh, all right, um, so we're going back. I'm once again joined by Kyle Gatto. Uh, Gatto, what? I always want to call you. <laughs> Feckin' Final Fantasy 15 has ruined me. I've made me oh, eat so goodness. much pizza. <laughs> my goodness. Oh god. Steel Foxes says, A hey, Kyle, what's the plan for a raid? No, no, THE Kyle is joining us. A hey, Kyle the is Kyle. <laughs> Continue, sorry. No, um, uh, Band of Beast has reminded me of two things. One, um, so long as there are no massive requests against it, spooky bits will be back. <sighs> um, and Kyle, I need to send you the alert so that you can hear people messing with me at the same time. Yeah, hit me. Uh, Time to go back to the Blackout Club. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything will be okay. Everything's fine. We're fine here. Everything's fine. How are you? Alright, so. Check me out. Got a tweet cooked, posted. It's even got a GIF. It's even got a GIF, Kyle. 
I'm busting out the big, I'm busting out the big guns today. I'm looking. <laughs> um, so and, and we're cooking. Someone, someone is crafting a, is crafting a cook certainly. Right, bear with me a second. There'll be a small interruption of, of blepped services. Uh, Alpha of the Deluge. Uh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Why would you ask that? But I do want to say to uh, Steel Fox, Vander Beast, Asadi Green Fire, Fire Straker, and I don't think I said a proper hi to Tal, or even to Joda. Uh, what ho and welcome. Ardoon says, uh, What ho, Will and Kyle. Look at how people come and say hi. It's going to be great. Blessed. Oh, Banana Blues, it's not a cult. It's not a, it's not a cult gift. It's not, it's not a cult. It's not a cult. Manage themes. All right, so friends, the the horror effects are happening. Oh, good. Oh, good. And Carl, I will send you a link which will create the blips. Um, we were trying to get it so that you could see Kyle's face as well while we we're playing the Blackout Club, but for some feckin' reason, it didn't want to play ball. Um, I was chatting with some people, apparently there was a Windows update this week or last week. <laughs> oh, God! I'm waiting for you to say it's not a cult <laughs> while playing, and the game replies that it is, indeed, a cult. It's not Subway cult. 100, Subway 100, bonus 20. So, Jarolan, thank you for that. Um, that did catch me off guard. I probably should have known. Uh, two, it's not a cult. Three, thank you kindly. Right, so spooky bits are in. So, Kyle, I say, like, without further ado, let's just, let's just get this show on the road. I want to... Let's heck I wanna, and go. I want to hear the tales of you. I want to hear what's going down. Um, there's been a bunch of, thankfully, not too horrendous industry stuff to banter on. <laughs> uh, esports is back in the scene again. Oh, what's going on at esports? Um, what isn't going on with esports? I actually don't know what the discourse is. I just know that everything is a shit show all the time. Bless you. Um, Thank I, you. I feel somewhat disconnected from like esports as a whole. So, in a certain amount of way, I could kind of take a step back and like admire from. Uh, um, I mean, I could name, you know, um, Daigo, and that's about it, really. <laughs> like people yeah. that I follow. Um, I think I think the latest thing is that uh, Duncan Shields, aka Thorin, got nominated for Esports Journalist of the Year, and he's uh. Isn't he a very bad person? That's what I'm understanding. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, and they overlooked C Cecilia Distant, uh, Denastasio, uh, who's actually one of the better journalists that I'm aware of. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not all caught up on the discourse. No, Just... it's it's understandable, <laughs> and with with these kind of things, it's always. I'm trying to think of the best way to phrase it. Uh, with these things, esports is such a weird space. Hmm. The the a lot of the commentary around it does come from fan communities, and those. The loudest voices in those spaces aren't always the aren't always the best. Uh, Alpha... Isn't it always like that? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> oh fuck! Kyle, Kyle, I logged in. Yeah, and then it told you to close your eyes, and then it gave you some dialogue. <laughs> no. No. I, I logged in. Okay. The door behind me bolted open and the lights went out. Oh no, so now it says close your eyes. This fucking game! Greetings, <laughs> children. Oh shit. My. I'd wager this decaying train car gets cold at night. That's good. A test of zeal. I. And die for you. I have heard your prayer 
prayers on behalf of my fallen brother. Oh, God! The idea. <laughs> they really know what they're doing with the atmosphere. And our what? Are hereby allied and have agreed to form a pact against the elders who have enslaved your town. This would not have happened except for your passion and your prayer. Though we are older than recorded time, it seems we have much to learn from you. Oh good. Oh good. Oh good. <laughs> Don't worry. Like I thought we'd get in, you know, get do all the like the matchmaking nonsense, start hanging out. It'd be great. It'd be fine. But no. Oh, fuck me in a bin bag. It's gonna be a day, isn't it, Kyle? It's gonna be a it day. It surely is. It surely is. <sighs> so all of you have just come on in. What ho and welcome. It's the Blackout Club. Kyle's come back. Uh, Alpha the Deluge was just saying on your previous point that they work for an esports site and they can't... They can't confirm that it's a shit show all of the time, but often. Yes. I agree. Oh, no, that's the one from before. Alright, so I need to invite you into my Do game. you have any idea where your daughter might have gone last All right, night? you should have an invite from me, dude. I sure do. Looking all snazzy. I just bought myself a new shirt. Hey, hey. Uh, I've gone for the um, the Seattle standard of red and black plaid. Uh, I got my red shoes to match. I uh, I think I'm wearing pink now. Sure am. Yeah. Look at that style. Styling. All right. So, friendos, I'm gonna I'll give you the the, the quick rundown on this game, and just in case you missed it from last time. Four-player, stealth-focused horror co-op. However, at any point, the devs reserve the right to- ah! Fuck! Oh, that's a new one. Merry Christmas. It's not Christmas! <laughs> Bloody September! Oh, I don't think my nerves are ready for today, but we're gonna do it anyway! Yeah, it's Halloween right now, so. Yeah. It's gonna be- it's gonna be Halloween pretty much until December. We all know this. All right, so, four player co-op, stealth focused. However, the devs sometimes will actively mess you up sideways. The things to know about this, it's got a class system. That is to say, uh, there are four different kind of like skill trees you can go down. And it is very much um, non-murder focused. As members of the Blackout Club, a group of like 13, 14 year olds who seem unaffected by the spoopiness affecting the town, it is our job to investigate, do varying missions, and get out. The Blackout Club has some simple rules. Stick together, no killing. Three, seriously, no killing. It could be your mom or worse, mine. Four, get evidence. That's our best see shot. Over oh, there. Sorry. And number five, close your eyes. It's the only way to see the shape and other things. Oh, good. Stan says, uh, do you like socks? Timber Nom Skinny question. Absolutely. Um, this uh, GDC, uh, both, who is it? It was definitely uh, Unreal and Fat Shark were giving out socks. And those have been a bloody lifesaver. I'm indie now, dude. Like, Carl, I can't afford to be buying <laughs> them, them premium AAA socks. You could always get Walmart socks. Honestly, I found Walmart socks pretty appealing. Oh yeah, and the other thing that we've learned is uh, as we level up, we unlock more sections of the map. However, mm -hmm. the missions just continue um, as and when. The choosing the different starting regions just changes. Um, it changes just that. The areas have still opened up. All right, so got a submission ready. I've got a crossbow and my drone. I've got a rock. Got a rock. Yeah, I opened the box here and it gave me a god rock. I don't know what the god rock does. Oh. But 
that's what it is. Two. Oh, God Rock Buddies. God Rock Buddies. It's like POD. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think everybody gets that reference. I was about to say, I want to reference. see a show of hands for anyone who got that reference. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody gets that reference, say that you got the reference. Although, <laughs> although Cryostix was asking if the God Rock is called Dwayne Johnson. Uh, it is okay now. <laughs> it is now. Um, so to Kandoran, the Prolo! Prolo, how are you doing, friends? Uh, and Atari, um, Katros, anyone I didn't give a proper what ho want to say? Good afternoon, all. What ho and welcome! I'm joined by Kyle of the Blackout Club. Hello, it's me. I'm Kyle. We're gonna go get spoopy. And this is the Blackout Club. What does the God Rock do? Are we just gonna have to, like, trial by fire it? Yeah, because we don't seem to be able to use it in here. Yeah, and there's no there's no description anywhere. Oh, I'm pissing a bin! <laughs> Dill makes me jump! <laughs> oh. Perlo, make sure you get good rest. Um, in the meantime, do a hydrate. Some cold water will wake you up. Hail hydrate. Hail hydrate. Although I'm drinking tea right now, but that's mostly water anyway. It's yeah. just a hot, just a hot water salad. Exactly. I'm having coffee, which is you know just it's just improved bean water. Mmm. All right. So our mission is to steal the cryptograms. We don't know why, but these bad guys steal our dreams and mess with our heads. Uh, Bell said they also take things from our rooms. Anyway, tonight we take something back. Focus, guys. Got a got a flashbang here. Ooh, lovely. Yeah, it's when you're only dating somebody for a short time. Okay, so they need demon codes on big wooden cards. Oh, we're just gonna go collecting some CCGs. What is uh, Catastrophe? What is your uh, favorite indie game that's getting a sequel? Uh, Prolo said T is hot leaf juice, while Catros is uh, answering all uh, Catastros. I mispronounce usernames constantly. Um, the Prolo did say that T is just hot leaf juice. Yes. I, I'm, I'm. What would, what would the Fire Nation say? Regular bean juice, leaf juice. I don't know. I can hate those speed traps. Yeah, it's gonna be a bad time. Great blue har. No, um, Vagabonds reminded me of a time when I described the Great Blue Heron, oh. or the Great Blue Heron, if you want to be formal, as the Great Blue Harlot, and I don't know <laughs> why. I'm just, it was a busy day, there was a lot of things going on in chat. <laughs> Alright. Tea is delicious hot leaf juice. You're right. You're right, you're right. Okay, we got our... Got some bonus evidence. Detective Grimoire. Oh, wow, I haven't thought about Detective Grimoire in so long. God, I think that's on the list, but I, I'd have to check. Uh, I have a master list of everything that I want to, to stream at some point. And it I'm is, sure that list is very long. It's about 400 games. Uh, that is very we, long. We've done 130. So we're not doing that's bad pretty good. Alright, let's stop. Alright, we're at 1,003 Hoadley. Looks like we're going underground again. Oh, Get God. these cryptograms. Uh, Asari's saying hot leaf juice, isn't that just herbal tea? When I say herbal, you say no thanks. It's call and response. Hey, this is, is weird. Is that overdue? Isn't there Yeah, there's like, no, okay, no, there's somebody hanging out over there. Alright, I'll tag oh, him. somebody's coming out the front door on the right. There was a little bit of reflection off the off the water, it caused me to freak out for a second there. Yeah, I saw that too, and I'm just like, hmm, don't care for that. Looks like we got a bunch of speed traps now. Wow. Oh, there's a there's a lucid dreamer over on the right there. Unless, unless. Nope, never mind. Unless. Is it lucid? No, oh, yeah. I think it was just some light. No, it's the light from the truck. Okay, um, I'm gonna hop down here. Zero signal. Uh, I'll 
Oh, they might. Okay, that. Oh no, that is a lucid over on the distance. I'm just going to tag him just in case. I can. But it's over on the right side. We we can get in through the back here. Oh yeah, I see him. Okay. I see him. That way. And is that a lucid? That's a lucid for sure. Are you sure they don't have a flashlight? Uh, they were looking at their phone and kind of like pottering about. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna pop over the fence here. I'm with you. Oh. Uh, a... Blues gave me some points for a Professor Elemental reference. What is that? Why is this? Oh, it's a drop point. Okay. Um. We could hang on. Uh, if there's no one about back here, I can send in the drone and scope the house out just to see. Because we know we can get into the underground from here, right? Uh, what house is this? Because we were just at 1003 Hoadley. Uh, we can get in somewhere near here. I know we can. Okay, so. My little eye in the sky. Drone friend away! Let's hope they left the So I know inside the kitchen here, there's a way in. Okay, so we know where the so we know where the drop point is. It's surprisingly empty over here. Yeah, I'm not. This is not making me feel better. You know yeah. What? Right, let's go in through here. I'll Which leave, one? I'll leave a uh, drony drone face with you. So the the building that you're right next to. No, don't the, don't do that. I'm not a I'm not a responsible father. So. The patio. So I'll come pick him up. <laughs> uh, we all are in agreement, though, that the hot leaf juice is a uh, is an avatar reference, and therefore also. Oh yes. Where's my season three? Kyle, where's season three? Season three of what? Of avatar. Season three came out. Well, I mean, what I mean is like you have season one, Ang, season two, Cora. That's that's my feels. No, they had. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just as I fell off something. Kyle, ain't no <laughs> angel. Oh, it's gonna be a day, friends. It's gonna be it a day. Sure is. All right, I'm gonna lockpick this guy, um, and then I guess we're just gonna go in through here. Just, uh, just take it. Here, a sleepwalker. Don't know where. All right, we're at 920 Hoadley right now, so. Right. And let's just go down. Good. Nothing bad ever happens underground. Uh, but Will, to answer your question, uh, Avatar's over. I know, I know. I, I'm sorry, but Korra was the last Avatar. <sighs> One can hope. Did you? I know, I know. Um, that's very purple. That is very purple. Unusually purple, I would say. So, uh, Tenwin, thank you for that one. That was. So, Nom Nom Fighter, that I should have said one. earlier, rather than the screaming, which was thank you kindly for the $5. And Tenwin, thank you for the 500 bits. Yes, we've got spoopy bits on. Yes, it freaks me the pissing hell out. Um, uh, he's, uh, Tenwin is right. Uh, it's not as good as Avatar The Last Airbender, but Korra does have its own charm. Uh, openly bisexual character. <laughs> Important stuff in media. Also, I would like I would like Cora to break me in half with her muscles. Oh, but one million, wouldn't? one million percent, yes. Um, ooh, I should have to get some of these, but they were such wonderfully different stories, and Cora was so different from ooh. a lot of things we'd seen. Um, oh, what you see? Yeah, there's a, there's a dude just hanging around. Uh, also, you notice the fire staff there, right? The purple thing. Oh, is that what that is? We're probably okay. gonna have to grab that after, I reckon. Yeah, we absolutely will. Um, the idea that Cora was kind of like the, the muscle... <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm frustrated that I can't renew my subscription from my phone and had to watch an ad. Have these bits to hold over until I get back to my PC. My snipping bag. House chaos is just going off today. <laughs> so, Tedwin... 
Congratulations. Also, congrats oh. on getting Yellow of the Day. Oh, what do you want to? Uh, and Quasi, thank you kindly. Um, I hope you got to see the last episode, well, last episode, the last show of this, because this is the Blackout Club, and this is <clears throat> fucking brilliant. Alright, we're going to have to go after those cryptograms eventually. Am I coming with you, or are we going to split up? No, we stay together. And what happens right. when we split up? Um, sometimes we succeed. We succeed a little bit. So all the cryptograms are round. Yeah. I love this. Loving this. Darkness, dirt, and cold. It's like an evil spa. Alright. So I'm just going to drop down over here when the camera moves away. Alright, with you. <laughs> then I'm just going to walk forward quickly. I heard something right. be slightly enthusiastic at my existence, but I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're okay. What happened on level 18 of this club? Um, you graduate high school. Yep. And you move into a, a very small apartment in the city. Um, yeah, with with seven other people. At first, you're full of hopes and dreams, but then you realize that school life has prepared you literally for nothing. Mm -hmm. Capitalism has destroyed the economy yeah. and, and the world around you, so uh, it's useless to enjoy. Aside from crippling debt uh, and happy memories. Oh, looks like we've got some uh, some sleepers around here. Not lucid though, right? No. All right. Quiet. Sleeper. Alright, so there's one there and there's... I'm, so there's I'm sorry, Kandarian. There's three in here? There's three posters in here, sorry. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, there's three sleepers in here? How do they fit? I assume it's the, uh... The triple top to tail. Or as I yeah. call it, everyone's first GDC. Oh, god. Yeah, they I just would... stack a little bit. Yeah. Actually, I can't talk. Oh, he's, I... he's coming up the stairs. He's coming up the stairs. Do, do not perceive me. Do not perceive me. I got a bang. That's okay. I got my taser ready to go. All right. I know I said I was going to use the grappling hook, but... All right. I got the cryptograms. All right. I'm going to... What was next? I'm going to steal this flashbang. All right. Good. And Ooh. now we... Uh... Okay, this should be an easy run. Science will be visible. You say that. Well, no, all we've got to do is go and get the uh, the flaming torch and make it out. And with that flaming torch is literally back the way we came. Yeah. Oh. Huh. 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 She will find. She will forgive. The sun is mercy. Mercy. Alright. My eye and the love of a god. We never got to. Speaking of god, we never got to try the god rock. Uh, it looks like it has a speaker on it, so... Okay. Alright, they're both this way. Oh, oh shit, on. there's three. Not even there's, joking. There's three of them in here? Uh, one went out, one came back in. There are three on patrol around this area. Alright. One coming down to you. Sleep. One up here. Um... Uh, see you... I'm <laughs> You're leaving without me? Piece of shit. No, I'm, I'm, I'm holding the door. I'm holding the door. <laughs> I remember the last time somebody held the door. It did not end well. It became famous. Okay, so Obsidipan and people who have just joined us, this is the Blackout Club, and I'm really happy we're going to get to show you this. Um, my good friend and industry buddy uh, Kyle Gatto is on the line playing the other teenager in this adventure. So... Grab a cup of tea, settle in. This game is brilliant and terrifying and brilliant. Oh god. Alright, I think you're clear. Yeah, you're good. I don't think I should play this, I have anxiety. <laughs> I don't think I did before I started playing this. Alright, you're good. <laughs> And yeah, Greenfire, you are correct that essentially the ending of Korra is... There can't be another series after Korra. But it's so good. I just... 
it's one of those situations the difference between knowing and wanting like i know yeah. how cora ends oh no there's somebody walking yeah Sleeper. Mom. I, I know how cora ends but did you uh did you play or did you play the platinum game yes and the combat was exceptional everything else about it was just <laughs> <laughs> well, because, like, Korra's very much a narrative in... It's a very nuanced story, right? Yeah. The Platinum Games game was very fighty-fighty. Yeah. The things that made Korra stand out so well was, like, Avatar is kind of like the, the hero's journey done great, right? But Korra's yeah. story is, you know, it's personal, it's political, it's it, it takes that world, makes it real. And I oh really God. respect that. Oh God. Which one? Oh. oh. <laughs> Kyle, you're freaking me out. I'm freaking myself out. <laughs> All right, I got a noisemaker. I got. I don't even know how to get back to the thing. Did we get? Because the stairs. No, the stairs don't take you to that level. We have to go a different way. Why would he play with that pipe? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get so we basically gotta go past. It's kinda like Sonic's going fast, but Oh, how did it not see me? I should be so seen. Okay. Sleepwalker. Yeah, I'm gonna drop down. Oh, I found a candy box though, so I can get us. We get another trank dart. And that's what we really need for right now. I spent all my candy on this shirt. <laughs> how legit. Um, oh, and Canaram was asked in how uh, Noita went yesterday. It's fucking great. Um, so, Kyle, I spent yesterday playing like a pixel physics based uh, roguelike called Noita. Oh, that sounds fun. Spell uh, N O I T A. Mm -hmm. Why does he do that? <laughs> it seems so unnecessary to do that. What, to go onto the pipes and just play a sick feckin' riff? I'm just saying, it feels unnecessary. Oh no, I'm with you, I'm with you. So many, so much for me. Daylight. Oh, oh and there is another one. Weeks of late there. Eyes bloodshot. She skips it. Says he's sleeping around. Sleeping around. Oh, there's so many of them. In her face. Uh, so, like Snuggly, and everyone, welcome to the Blackout Club. This is what if Left 4 Dead, Gloomhaven, and Thief got smashed together. Why are they following us? What did you do? I didn't do anything. Are you dissing on his, like, mad, like, single bass guitar solo? Okay, you're right, I did say that. Bassists are slow, but easily agitated. You know this. <laughs> Sorry, I, I need to know, Kyle, your don't start a fight with a Scar Band, with a Scar Band member, because his 62 other bandmates will jump in. You got yeah. a proper, like, ugly, like, coffee snort laugh out of me. <laughs> Right, that good. guy really followed us this whole way. What a dick. Yeah, I can still trank him. I got two trank rounds. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna grab this chest over here. So we still gotta go past. If you pick up a... Wait, we can just... We can just leave... Oh, no, we have to get the torch. Yeah. I was gonna say, we can just leave. <laughs> so um, you know what? I'm gonna... Do we have a... What you call it? Fun grenade? No, I only have flashbangs. Yep. Oh. oh. Holy heck! I'm getting sandwiched here! Ah! Fuck! Holy fuck! Holy Are fuck! These sleepers <laughs> sleeping around. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! We're good. No, We're good. I'm not good! We're good. We're good. Are we good? I handled it. You... Oh, you tranked that guy. Okay. Holy shit. 
Oh my god. Right? <laughs> this game goes bad fast. Banded Beast, are you kidding me? <laughs> Once again, I nearly peed. <laughs> Alright, I'm out Oh my of god, I panicked. <laughs> On the one side, I'm out of track rounds, but I got some flashbangs. Okay. So, we good, right? Maybe. Affect <laughs> my life! Do you have a... You don't have a foam grenade, do you? No. So we've got right, to go the, the chunky way around this speed trap. And yeah, it's so, so... bright in here, I can't see. So it's this way. No, no, it's this way, Will. You sure? Yeah, you have that's to the, go this way. That's the way we came. Uh, no, it's you have like you have to go this way and then around because oh. the speed trap. Yeah, the speed trap extends that way because what what is that? Whatever's in front of you. Yeah, and I don't think you can unless you can jump on top of it. Yeah, you're entirely right. Sorry, dude. No, you're fine. But I've got a lot of lock picks, so if we've got to faff around, I'm gonna. Uh, chalky bar, more noisemakers, uh, another lockpick. All right, we got one more sleeper coming in. I got him. I think we'll be gone by the time. All right, uh, I'm just gonna ignore that chest that you just opened, so forget it. Uh, it wasn't. I mean, what we need is foam grenades. It wasn't any of those. Yeah, that's okay. Snuggly's like, the thing about speed traps is if you ain't speeding. Um, but sorry, going back to your earlier point, I really like the combat of the Korra game. I just, mm. I personally felt that like Korra's nuances were social and the, that's the kind of stuff that I always imagine like old Bioware to work with, you know what I mean? No, I certainly agree with you. Like, I, I really love Platinum. All right, I am now holding this thing. Okay, what's next? All right, if we head back up the way we came, dead drops in the bin, piece of cake! <laughs> Steel's like, I'm gonna go sleep an hour. I don't need 20 gallons of adrenaline in my system. Try playing it! <laughs> Try fucking playing it! Wait, wait, wait. Container? That's the drop-off point we walked by, yeah. I imagine. Okay. Yeah, and 920 Hootley. That's where we came in. Now, I can always send a drone if we want to explore a little bit. And we do have Droney Drone Face. We do. Actually, no, we did, what was Drone's name? Was it, it was uh, Buzz something? Uh-oh, sleeper right outside. That is a lucid dreamer, I believe. Now we get sleeper. Nope. I'm gonna let you lead. Why let me lead when we have... I see you all now, Red Acre. That's some bum, 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 bum. She closed the door. Piss! That's okay. I My only it. drone weakness. Thank you. All right. You good? <laughs> oh! Subway 500 bonus <laughs> 50 watt pants, pants brown Rando? pants Rando. That is awful. Oh, bloody nearly was caffeine. For a moment there, I was like, yeah, check us out. We're doing good. Thank you, Caffeine. You bastard. Alright. Mm. Feckin' look at us go! Glowing purple and everything! That's how it be. Now, of course, now I'll drop uh, the like, exfiltration point. It's gonna be the worst possible spot. I'm sure it is. It's like, go back underground and leave through there. <laughs> What was next? Good. And now we... Yep. Uh... It's across the road, under the feckin'... We have to go past the bloody lucid dreamer. That's alright. That's alright. That spot. See it? Hang on, I'm trying to tag the lucid. Lucid? Wow. I've never said anything as cyberpunk as I'm trying to tag the lucid. <laughs> that is super futuristic, oh my god.
Okay, we good, we good. Oh, we can't. We can't even go that way. We have to go in front of the houses. Uh, Geometry. Geometry. Oh no. Okay. Uh, I'm. We good. I'm we going good. this way. Oh, we have a. Uh... Oh, a little bit of extra bonus evidence. Okay. Uh, caffeine's just pointing out. What's that thing about hubris again? Well, sir, at any point this game can go sideways. That's what's so both brilliant and terrifying. Like you saw us all playing last week. And, like, to the untrained eye, it looks like, yeah, Will and Kyle, they got this down pat. They know what they're doing. Spoiler. We don't know what we're doing. I've never had a clue about anything I've ever done in my life. But I do know that acting like a cat and riding the fence is a good way to avoid speed traps. Yeah. <sighs> oh, shit, no, it's not. There's a loose in the back garden. Well, you know what? If you walk fast enough, it becomes not a problem. <laughs> Subway 200 bonus 20 Fuck. been a while since I've been broken. It will you really out to so death cry I up copy a trap hair draw year boo 729 October gentillion 138 and sept fig 912 sex for gentillion 364 quin for gentillion 293 quarter for gentillion 843 for gentillion 612 due of gentillion 897 for gentillion 468 for gentillion 975 November decillion 618 October Octo decillion 925 septa decillion 628 sex decillion 917 quin decillion 365 quarty or decillion 891 tree decillion 236 euro decillion 587 and decillion 921 decillion 368 no million 923 octillion 146 decillion 100 82 sextillion 461 quintillion 826 quadrillion 418 trillion 923 billion 461 million 231,454 are. I feel better. Oh good. Then we again though, Jaralan, feckin' thank you. It's still 200 bits. And just as the feckin' lucid dreamer was turning to look at the fence where I was, the hiss went off and I'm like, ah! Alright, we good. Woo! Yeah! Come on! Oh, thank you! We did it. Feckin' did it. Sean! What a friend! Uh, the Blackout Club is still amazing. Like some more candy. I would always like more candy. Ooh, are we gonna are we gonna dream? Yeah. So, <laughs> friends, if you haven't experienced this part of the game, these we think these are other people in game making I don't know negotiations or feck knows what. Could get weird. So brace yourself. <laughs> ah! <laughs> subway 100, Subway 100 bonus 20. This experience brought to you by today's sponsor. Subway. Eat fresh. Eat terrifyingly, gruesomely, horrifically, traumatically fresh. <laughs> Gerald, I thank you. I'm gonna remember that one. Eat fresh. Eat terrifyingly, gruesomely, horrifically, tra uh, traumatically fresh. I don't, I don't know what, what other to way say. is there? Oh, <laughs> what a little cutie. You don't know what to say. Well, I do. Come to me, and let's laugh together. <laughs> My name is Laugh Last. So that's a thing that could happen to us. I don't know when. Perla's like, no, 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 don't like this. Oh, this is good. Oh, and Hindle with laugh and grow fat. One of the most surprisingly memorable bosses, considering. I'm good for Kit. Do we... Let's just keep going. Uh, I think so. Huh. 
kind of oh. wish I was eating a pizza right now. Snuggly saying, Psst, go read about traps. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, so we've got the acoustic mines. Uh, so that's speed traps. Acoustic mines. Looks like attention. Uh, those veiled sleepers have started putting these loud ass things all over. Get close to Sosta Hollow, so watch your step. And no Dax, we're not calling them squeakers. Um, Alright, so flashbangs. Flashbangs can reboot acoustic mines. Uh, but once again, foam grenades, the gold ones, they gum them up. Mm. So what do flashbangs do? Oh, can we use this as an escape item? Okay. So you can read the journal here, and apparently your character has been experiencing blackouts. Or some character has been experiencing blackouts. Jeez, if you're interested in... Yeah, if you're interested in lore... <laughs> oh, Snuggly's saying there's another bit about speed traps. Oh! oh! Fuck! That Viking underscore blonde wait. That voice? Oh no. It is. Him. Nudge to those that know what I am talking about XD. Subway 100, Subway 100, Subway 100, Subway 100, XD. Subway 100, <laughs> bonus 50. I do love how it says that. Tenwin, again. So Tenwin, yeah. Caffeine, Quasi, everybody. Thank you for the bits. Literally, keep this operation running. So I'm very grateful. But also, thank you guys. And Caffeine's just refilling the pint glass with ice cream, which I respect. I think I'm gonna go for the 10% more stamina. Uh, I yeah. don't have any yet. Yeah. But I went for the, we the UFO. So I went for the UFO and the locksmith, so I get one lockpick to start. In the minor powers? Okay. Yeah. Um. The other cool thing, uh, so what uh, Snuggly was telling us, so the speed traps, we can very, very slowly dismantle them. They only zap you if you're moving quickly. Or well, like, Interesting. You know, so we, if we can like sneak up super close to them, we can take them apart. All right. Well, we're going to try that. And if we fail and die, then I blame Snuggly. We should try a god rock. We should try a god Is rock. Is that what we're going to do? I think okay. we should. We'll, uh, we'll throw it as a distraction. Yeah, we'll try one. And then if it works, great. If not, we'll just pick it up and go from there. So oh. now we go here. Good, to start with. Oh, it's another lost. <laughs> ah! New Yar. I may have a heart attack today. I can feel it. I can feel it. Uh, Vanderbeast, right. thank you for the 200 cheer. And repping some house chaos. Um, and Vanderbeast managed to ninja Yard of the Day from Tenwin. Uh, so three potential places to go get it, all of them somewhat underground. All right. So uh, looks like they're all underground. Don't like that. That's that's terrible and bad. Hmm. I relate to that. Oh shit! Okay, somebody right there. Lucido. Oh, no. no, he's just. See that sleeper? Yeah. Oh. But he is coming this way. All right. Bad idea. Follow me into the bushes. Yes, I have the mind of a teenager, apparently, today. Oh, he is following you. Yes, he is. Oh, cool. Found a little teeny tiny base camp. Why did he see me? Hear me? I don't really know. Like, if you could head to me, I found, like, a teeny tiny, like, base base. I'm shuffling my way over there as quickly as I can. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick us up another track dart as well, just in case. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. As Sean people says, this is nice. This is a nice game full of fun times. Um, was there anyone still waiting for Will to explain what this bloody game is, or are we all on board? Because this game's gonna mess me up. 
All we right. can't walk out that way. Unless... Alright, I'm gonna risk it. Oh, you can walk out that way? Okay. Right, real slow. Just real... Oh no, it's actually... It's blocked. Sorry. Yeah. I thought you meant there's a speed trap. We can't go that way. And I was like, no, you literally cannot go out that way. <laughs> I don't want to get my... Uh, I don't want to get my hoodie dirty. Like, there are, there are levels. I am curious... Yeah, I just... I paid a lot of candy for this. Like a lot of candy. Like hundreds of bits. I'm a grown up. I don't have hundreds of bits of candy. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go test this. I'm gonna go t to that speed trap. All right, I'm with you. All right. I got crossbow back up. Oh shit! Who's it here? If it sees you. If it sees you, I'll try and get it. It noticed me. Hold on, I'm moving away. No, shite! Stooge! Oh, fuck. Okay, we're Done. sandwiched in. We're sandwiched in. What Somebody's coming up behind me. What are they? Cause I just- I've got a corpse here! Is that you? No, it's not. We've had a bad time. Stooge, thank you kindly for bringing a raid in. Just as soon as that went down, Stooge is like, Here's five people! <laughs> hey kids, you wanna see a dead body? Ah! <laughs> I'm just gonna... <sighs> Question, how do we put the pee back in our bodies? Hang on, what's that? Alright, I wanna... I'm just gonna... House I'm just gonna put them behind... Put them behind here. They can have a nap together. This is fine. <laughs> Alright, so good news. Got... What is the good news? Uh, I just picked up cleaning supplies. Um, well, good. Then we can keep things clean. Apparently. Watch your lights. Jeez. We can get down into the underground from here. Wait, where did you pick up cleaning supplies? Just It was just on the counter, glowing. Right. Might as well turn okay. The light on. Yeah, turn the light off. What are you doing? I'm exploring. Well, your phone. You don't need the light on with your phone. All right, so they've got some flying drones outside. That's cool. All right. Oh crap! All right, we're just gonna yeah, go I out the kitchen. I think some. I think somebody's upstairs. Yeah, something. Somebody noticed. Somebody noticed me. I am outside. I am going downstairs. Where are you? Ah! I am. <laughs> Subway two hundred bonus twenty. Remember Why this. Is this? The superintendent says, "Keep it clean." Underscore carrot. This game's gonna be the death of me. Gilsey is asking if this is the right club. They know you here. I know the guy that owns this place. I mean, it's Unfortunately, not, this it's is not where it belongs. The club. So, again, Shackle, everybody, thank you for the bits. And I'm always in two minds because I think ODST is one of the best Halos. Reach might be my favorite. I think ODST might be the best. There, said it. I had a lot of fun with ODST because it introduced a lot of concepts to the Halo series that one through three really didn't, uh, I guess, capitalize on. Indeed. Like ODST had the first horde mode for the series, didn't it? It did. Yeah. Um, does this look suspect to you? Oh, it's extremely sus. Want to check it out? Absolutely. Hi, we are the cast of Stranger Things. This looks like a really bad idea. Should we try it? Yup. How do we keep hiding? 
doing new things. Um, new ways to suffer. But I think what was so good about ODST is a standalone, it was exceptional, but it added so much to the narrative. Like, like who are the heroes outside of the Spartans, right? Yeah. Like, that was one of the major things that I really enjoyed about ODST. What does this world look like if you're not a juiced up, super powered super? Oh, I hear Feedies. I also hear Feedies. Alright, sorry. It's just, uh, just a sleep, though. That's fine. Oh, Shaka was saying, Reach! You mean most heroic death tournament? Yeah. I think. Yeah, that's pretty much how it is, huh? Guy throwing you out of a. Uh, a spaceship heroic death might be the winner. Alright, I'm gonna disable this dude. It's like a real life dungeon. God, that's useful. Right, uh, I think it was Snuggle. Snuggles that turned uh, oh. us in on that. Alright, there's two of them. I mean, this thing must be yes, there is. I didn't, um,. So I do have some extra lockpick. No, I don't have any lockpicks. Oh, that's okay. I think I have a lockpick. Um, because I need to stock up. I those uh, lucid dreamers pretty much ate all my goodies. Yeah. Should I open this for you? Would you mind? Oh you shit! Know? I don't have a lockpick. Piss in a bin. Piss in a bin. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try and do a, a sneaky scoop crab. Nope. Not yet. Let's, uh, oh, is that what you're doing? Okay, you're just going for it. All right. What's in there? Just a noisemaker. All right, well, it's kind of useful. Um, I'm kind of annoyed that there's no ladder handy. We d we're, and it looks like we're going to have to kick that guy in to open it. Huh. Oh, you can just jump. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, this requires a bashing. Yeah. Uh. Bash and run? Um, no. I think that's a terrible, terrible idea. Okay, okay, it's McDonald's rules. What, what's your plan? McDonald's rules? Uh, what does yeah, that mean? <laughs> McDonald's rules, uh, if you don't want to eat somewhere, you have to suggest another food place. That is valid. All My right, friend called so... it the McDonald's rule because... Okay, that's, that's so valid. Um... I don't why understand do why they do that. <laughs> it's playing like a sick, like, one-string solo there. It's just the one guy in a band. Yeah. Alright, it looks like he's walking away. It, do it doesn't look like he's gonna make a round. Okay, he's definitely making a round. <laughs> uh, Alright, while this one's doing a round, uh, jumping back into chat. Uh, on the subject of, like, uh, Reach and ODST, Vagabond was saying that that's why they enjoy the Star Wars stories that don't necessarily have the Jedi and the Sith in. I'm like, mm -hmm. feck yeah. Uh, yeah, one, no, absolutely. One of my favorite things from uh, the Clone Wars cartoons was the episode about the clone special forces. Oh my god, right? Yeah. Uh, like, the, the the animated stuff or the CG stuff? Oh, the animated because, stuff. Like, okay, yeah. I, don't, I can't say whether the CG stuff is good or bad. I only tried watching the first couple episodes of it. You and I should, watched it right after. You should watch that. It's really good. It, it was just that I went right from the Samurai Jack team's, like, interpretation of that world straight into the next one. I gotcha. Oh, this guy's got... This guy's a singer. Alright, cool. I think... Okay, so I think this is... This is the guy who's playing the the pipe. So, he's a musician. Everything makes sense now. Of course, of course. Oh, also, Captain Stephanie Barnes. What, oh, friend? Okay, um, so here's here's what we can do. Here's what we can do. All right. We're going to wait for one of them to leave, okay. and they will. We'll bash this open. I'll tase the other one, and then we'll run away and hide until... Right. So I'll bash, you tase, then we just book it back up the ladder and find a place to hide. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop down here. All right. All right, I will begin bashing on your mark. Usually, um, wish I'd rephrase that, but here we are. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go and tase him right now. Oh, and Shackle's pointing out why Deep Space Nine is the best Star Trek. We'll get to that in a All second. All right, three, two, one, go. Bash! 
Woof. All right, it is not here, and all I got was a flashbang. I'm climbing up. Oh! I'm climbing up. I fell on my damn ankle. It is a child. They will give up. That other one's coming back. Oh, did you hurt yourself? A little bit, a little bit. I was a bit too blasé. Just a small, like, crumple. Uh, very okay. British Gale. What, old friend? We're back at the Blackout Club. Me and Kyle are solving crimes. Solving crimes with child powers. Um, so sorry. While we're taking a moment to let this person stop freaking out, what Shackle was talking about was the uh, episode of uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, where the whole of the bridge crew are incapacitated, and it's like the B team that has to handle it. Right. The reason why I think Deep Space Nine is the best is because, right. like, and I'm not saying that the other series are bad. Oh, but, no, of course not. Nor could you. But Deep Space Nine, like, all the people that Starfleet couldn't get rid of but had to put somewhere, they put them on this backwater, ass-end-of-nowhere station. Because it was technically meant to be overseeing, like, a, um, you know, a, uh, a very politically charged situation. But ultimately, right. it was just a small station. Then, Wormhole opens up, and suddenly, it's like the new hub of the galaxy, right? So it's it's the wrong team in the wrong place making it work. Like Cisco gets put there because they can't fire him. Right. Like they know he'll kill Picard given half a chance. But <laughs> wait for this guy to. Yeah. Um, Snuggly was asking what our thoughts are when we logged in. Uh, terrified, and now we have a thing called the God Rock. We haven't used yeah. it yet. We both have a God Rock each. Um, I reckon we can make it past him. Actually, here's a thought. Here's a thought. We're going into that next area blind, so it's just time. Mm. It's time for Droney to do his thing. Yeah. A casual little buddy. Also, I forget Droney can like distract people away. So if we need to. All right. So I got good news, bad news. What's the bad news? Cameras. They got cameras. Okay. Good news is there's a ton of. Both goodies and oh, there is a speed trap on the ground as well. Good news, no lucid dreamers, no nonsense. Positive. Smugly, what did you name your god rock? All right, on your six. Seamus. Seamus the God Rock. You know what? I like uh, it. Um, we will need to come up with our own God Rock names, of course. And Sean says that the uh, sleepers look like people trying to find their way to the feckin' uh, the refrigerator in a dark kitchen. Just that kind of... Uh, uh. Honestly, on... I relate to that a lot. Just turn on the light. I don't want to turn on a light, Sheila. Sheila, we're just wasting electricity. As a, uh, as a fellow sleepy and also hungry person... I know what it's like to go for f go for food. Oh God! Who? We good? We good? We are good. Please stop perceiving me. All right. So I'm thinking that we go left here. Left is bad? No, we're going left uh, here. I got, I got spotted by uh, float, uh, by Flyboy, so I gotta, I gotta wait him out and do another round. Plus okay. there's some, just some goodies to snag, which might be what we need. Alright. Also the fact that we've now learned that that, um, that weird kind of twangling music, that's not the game. That is other people in, that is NPCs. Yes. That, that ain't a backing track, that's just someone just jamming. Ah. Foam grenade! 
Nice. Uh, uh, sadly, though, Greenfire's got to settle down for bed. So, Greenfire, sleep well. Uh, hopefully, this doesn't affect trying to have some bomb ass naps. Ah, we'll go from there. Make sure to get some good rest. Yep. All right, you're in the clear. Come this way. I'm going to I'm going to drop down cuz we got to go that way. We've got one sleeper in here over on the left by the pillar. Roger, Roger. That's the Jedi. Blast them. Sorry. That's okay. We've got one speed trap that I'm going to disable. With your dexterous hands. All right. I think I'm going to use my feet for this one. This arm. Oh, oh, that's you. Okay. Are you? <laughs> I've got to, you know, I've got to be the, I've got to be our kind of like our walking mini map, you know. Our, our eyes in the sky. I'm your soliton radar for today. <laughs> oh, and yeah, so very British Gale. Um, oh, what very British Gale is talking about is they announced the next Total War uh, saga game, which is basically mm. Total War, but not quite as all over the place. And it's oh like, yeah, Troy. Yes. Mm. Like that wasn't even a whispering of an idea when I was there, so I was excited as everyone else is. Um, it was quite funny that it was a PC gamer that leaked it mm. uh, about a, a day early because they put the magazines out on shelves too soon. So, right. The I, I mean, how long is it? Ooh. That's that got Whoa. spicy. So, I heard a door open. Yeah, I don't see anything. For some reason, I've got uh, John the Fisherman stuck in my head every time I try I fly the drone. That's an interesting, camera. interesting choice. Watch out. Okay, so we've got a camera. Uh, there's a sleeper in the nearby room. Okay, but not in the room that we're adjacent to, that I'm in right now. But once this map opens up even more, we're going to have a, a hell of a time. Because I'm just having a look through one of the grates, and there's like a huge, like, underground cavern. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you ever saw a very messed up film called The Cure for Wellness, but it looks like that. Interesting. All right, following you up. Tanari, wow, what, oh, friend? Um, someone Follows let me know if, um, if Lily Longbean shows up in chat. Because they sent me a package, and I don't want to open it if they're not here. Oh, no. Sleeper. Okay, so we've got one sleeper. Nope. Okay, looks like they're going through the door. Of course it's down bloody there, isn't it? Yep. I'm going. Oh. Did the old like, little like slide on carpet. Yep. Now, is it below us? In a way. <laughs> you saw nothing. You saw nothing. I have a weird problem, especially with games, when I get very, very intense of getting like songs stuck in my head. So mm -hmm. whilst we were doing the uh, the club, um, especially during the like the hard uh, puzzle platforming bits. I'd start singing to myself Joe's Barbecue Foot Massage from Vine, because apparently that's who I am. Alright, looks like uh, looks like our only option is to kick this boy in. All right, we I'm tagged. just gonna go for it. Yeah, we tagged. Alright. Good, right? That's the There's phone. The HQ. I probably should have let you pick it up, because... Okay. what's next? I have a habit of disappearing while holding phones. Yeah, oh feckin' hell. So friends, if you weren't here for the last episode of this, um, we had a minor, like, internet blip at uh, Gameworks. And after all the fear, after all the feckery, after all the stuff this game can do to us, we finally get the phone, we're finally heading out, and I turn around, and I'm like, alright Kyle, we can, we can wait, do wait. this. Hang tight, I am perceived because of the noise that I made. Mm. So we're just gonna... Wait this one out for a Wait, second. Why am I perceived? Why? Why? 
Why am I perceived? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> Subway 200 bonus 20 Bro! member. The vents aren't safe. Xenomorphs are in the vents. Fucking wet! Shackle! Hold on. Hello. Do you want to make more money? Of course you do. Discover the quick, easy way to Walk past him. Walk past him. Come on. Come on. With our free gift to and then you. jump up. With our handy dandy brochure, you will learn the secrets that have been passed down for generations so by our. Does not care for. <sighs> oh shit, there's somebody else in here. Oh my god. Why are we playing this again? I don't know! Because when we finished last week, we were like, this was a great time, let's do this again! I don't know where the other one is. I panicked too hard and didn't tag oh, him. Wait, no! Fly, my pretties, fly! There we go. Thank you, Drony! Right. Report. Two or three hours till dawn. No incident. Recommend transfer to instrument detail. I can lure them away if needs be. Hold on to that for now. And there is some uh, extra See, evidence over, over here. So if we want to snag that as well. But let me keep this person tagged. Got it. I am safely upstairs. I'm with you. All right, they're coming up the stairs. Oh, good. I was just hoping we can make like Kermit the Frog and get stuffed. Oh! Oh, Stude says, you are right. This is a good time for us. Oh, good. So glad <laughs> I could be entertaining for you all. All right, I'm moving. I'm moving to the staircase behind the door. Wait, behind the door? Right. Yeah. I went to the wrong stairs. No, nope, we gotta go up. I mean, in the words of Sir Vanilla Ice, one must get up to get down. His teachings were very, very specific on this. No, you're right. They are, right, in open. fact, counter to the teachings of the House of Pain. That is true. But they taught the double jump, so there we go. Hmm. Not a lot of people know that um, House of Pain's oh, oh, oh. seminal hit is actually a reference to uh, up over this. Sleepwalker. It's, okay, please don't quote that verbatim, because I believe I just said House of Pain's seminal hit was a reference to Opis. That's that's not a quote. Subway 200 bonus 20. I prefer the teachings of the queen, but being that you got a jump. Jump. Alright, looks like we're going up. Oh, there's a chest over here. There's also. That's fun. See it? Quiet. Sleep. I think we can get to the chest. There's also that guy just kind of doing the monkey, but very slowly. Do the monkey with me. Grenade. Foam grenade. Foam grenades and thick thighs both save lives. Oh, there's another chest right here that we walked past. Oh, the hell yes. Um, Energy bar and a trank card. Yes. Alright, we're geared. Uh, so shackle and shackle again. <laughs> Press T to talk. Press T to talk. Use W A S D to walk. <laughs> And use the mouse to move your head. Uh, jump back in the chat. So Tenwin's asking if you've uh, if you've heard about YouTube's verification system. 
Uh, I did. I read about that uh, earlier today. Uh, there's an energy bar in this box here, and then there's another chest over up on the next ledge. You ever feel like I, I literally can't have any more energy bars? You ever feel like situations where you get a lot of gear is usually bad? Sleepers. Yes, could be constantly. Fairly. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about YouTube in general. Uh, personally ambivalent to it. Uh, I don't... I don't feel it's like a good thing, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Um, I don't think there's anything for us to do in here. We, I think we just have to leave the way we came. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do miss the old days of when YouTube was in itself like a place in a community. Like it wasn't just a video hosting. It's still, yeah. tech wise, it's still one of the best sites up there. And anytime I have any like video corruption problems, I just upload the file to YouTube and then download it. It fixes just about everything. No. Because whatever mad stuff they throw to, um, to compress their video, it's just like a fix all. We got somebody coming through the doors. Oh, no, I guess not. All right. Making me nervous, man. Making me nervous. Look, man. I'm nervous. <laughs> I get it. All right. I'm just, I'm just rushing through. Speed run. Blackout club. Speed run. Any percent. <laughs> that could be our GDC. At uh, GDC. Um, AGDQ. Although, as a GDC setup, I do hope. All right. Will's gonna get his berry on for a little bit. Because it's been really interesting reading a lot of breakdowns of um, Borderlands and Control. And while I'm not saying by any means that Control is a bad game, Control is very much uh, the path well tread, but with some really interesting ideas in by Remedy. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Um, I think we're going to have to go this way. Oh, good. Oh, and we're going to have to go up. Although there's no... I, I've got one track round and there's no turrets in here. Says you will never be one of them. But what was really interesting is the reviews and stuff I read about this. It was only the Rock Paper Shotgun article that even hinted that there was more to this than just, uh, like, co-op stealth, you know? Oh, to this? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. And, like, I mean, because I believe... <laughs> Subway 200 bonus 20 genuine curiosity here. Is there any plans for a future to SE free session, or is that just when it happens? Uh, do you mean Sniper Elite 3, uh, Katros? Sniper Elite 3 is usually an as and when, but I can I can put one on the uh, the schedule for after TwitchCon. Um, let's get the heck out of me. Oh, there's some goodies around here. There are. I wouldn't usually hoard them up, but I honestly feel like it's going so well. They're probably given in for a reason. All right, sleepy tripwire there. Oh, that would be that's useful for me. It was really funny listening to that prank call. Yeah. Finally came in handy, huh? Yay! All right, I'm at three foam grenades. We are stoked, my friend. Yeah, I have... I have one. So stoked. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So we've got... We've got three... We've got three hanging around here over on... In front of us. I think that's the way we need to go. Something just jams out the sounds again. I was perceived and I don't know why. I have no clue. Uh, okay, it's this one. We can knock him. Nope. Hello. Do you want to make more money? Ah! Of course you do. Discover the quick, easy ways to luck, fame, and good health with our free gift to you. With our hand ah! candy brochure, you will learn the secrets that have been passed down for generations. Nice work. Prank calling our way out of stuff. 
Um, but yeah, it's. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Be careful about walking in front of that door. All right. Um, I've been holding my breath for like a minute. I know. <laughs> All right. This. Oh no! This is the. This is the way the lift. Oh yeah, that's maybe not the worst idea. Ting ting ting, going up. Ladies' wear, kitchen wear, and salvation. For now. got the cleaning supplies, we just gotta clean up a whole bunch of blood, and then we're good. I saw a movie starring Samuel L. Jackson that had that exact same premise. <laughs> uh, did we come in left or right? Um, let's go left. Let's go left. Miyaki's curious, are you being served? Not currently, but there's still time. Days is far from over. So hey chat, let me ask you something. Y'all play video games, I imagine. What? But do y'all play? Do y'all play mobile games? Well, while they're catching up, uh, the one I've been hooked on recently is the Gundam Gunpla Battlers game. Mm -hmm. It has a story and a decent combat <sighs> system, and I make giant robots. So I right, grab oh. you some clean supplies. All extremely good. Ooh, they've just got a bunch of cleaning supplies everywhere. Quiet. What? There's somebody outside. Yeah, and cleaning's really loud. <gasps> oh shit! Where are you? Where are you? You upstairs? Oh, oh crap! <sighs> Oh shit, the shape! It's coming for me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Running, 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 running! Eat a fucking jungle! Oh fuck! I don't know where it is. I can't see it. Kyle, I love it's you. The, sh the shape is coming for you. I know it is. I don't know where. Oh, fuck. I can't see it. I can't see it. All right. So you got a sleeper on your tail. Oh no! Alright, I'm out of, I'm out of rounds. I can't, I can't see where the shape is. Alright, no, alright, the shape's making a beeline at you. It is on this side of the house. So it's like... Oh no! Oh god! No, the sleeper went in one area and out the other. Look, I am gonna try and I'm gonna try and clear up the blood as best I can. All right. <laughs> ah, fuck me in a bin. I can't see anything. There's so many here and a lucid. Jesus Christ, Band of Beast! Alright, I'm doing it. Okay, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I need you. Cuz I need you more tonight!
know I can see that thing running after you. Okay. I can't, like, I close my eyes and I don't see the shape at all. It's on this side. Alright, so the god rock. Oh god. Okay, I see it coming after me. Holy fuck. The god rock didn't do anything. Do we just need to leave now? Is that what we need to do? Please stop perceiving me. <laughs> oh god. Is it really coming for you right now? Oh I god, it don't is. Oh no! <laughs> Will, you're totally marked right now. Fuck. Why can't I leave? Hindle, yeah, uh, I'm doing great. Anyway, since I'm possessed by some ancient evil being, uh, how is everyone? Look at this cave. Isn't it neat? There's nothing in, in here I couldn't eat. I'm so freaking done. So yeah, uh, Kyle. Throw your Twitch in chat while we are doing this so that one, people can throw your follow because that'll be yeah. sincerely appreciated. And two, that way you can. So, Kyle has been a CM, a band photographer. You've met fucking baby metal and a whole bunch of people. Yo, if you have questions for Kyle, now is the time. Yes, because my mind is not my own. Uh, so, if you have questions for me, feel free to ask them. Um, and I may give you a right or wrong answer. It'll be a surprise for you. Uh, so yeah, most recently I was the community manager at The Escapist, Escapist Magazine. You may have heard about it. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Hmm, good question. African or European? Do I support the cult? Um, I don't support any cults, except Blue Oyster Cult. Thank you. Also, it's not a cult. Oh god. This is gonna hurt. Is that somebody coming towards you? Subway 100, Subway 100, Subway 100, Subway 100, Subway 100, Subway 100, Subway 100 bonus 51, Watch out, there's a sleep 2, left. Angel is coming for you, 3, 4, Battle of the Crap, 5, 6, keep in your shits, 7, 8, you are for that, 9, 10, the Angel is coming again. Fucking whips! Ted, thank you for the bits, also, fuck! Alright. Holy heck! Now it's running time! <laughs> 
No! No! Oh, God. They got me! No! 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 Oh my god. Bloody hell. F's in the chat. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the club. To the clubhouse, not to the club. We're gonna go back to the clubhouse. We're gonna have a little breather. Just for a moment. Alright, so I used the god rock. I don't know what it did. I don't know if it was meant to be like a, a super distracto or what. Oh, uh, so the sleepy tripwire can slow down the shape. It doesn't kill them. Oh, it doesn't knock them out. And you can hit them with foam so you can see where they are. Or where it is. I knew about the foam, but I didn't know about the, the tripwire. As Tim Wynn said, when you're in the club and you see a ghost, go, go ahead, it's a ghost. Oh, feck me. I, see, I don't know if the shape is a ghost or some kind of entity because um, it clearly has more power than your average ghost. Oh, yeah. I'm just making sure we've got, yeah, enhanced horror. That's what we've got turned on. Oh, this fucking game, dude. It's so good. Oh, dude, thank you. I got lunch. You got lunch, you got leftovers. Fucking yes, thank you. Joe brought me half a gig of pretzel and like a bunch of mac and cheese. Oh, I got food. Beautiful. Okay. So Snuggly is saying the shaped origin is hotly debated amongst even lore hounds. It's old, that's all we know. And the hmm. thing, so Snuggly, the thing that we got told when we first started the session was that there is more than one thing. And one of them has come to help us for some reason. Hmm. Or maybe. But again, I know you lot are having a great time scaring the bejesus out of me. I am very grateful for the bits. Uh, Stooge. Uh, I think I said thank you for the raid. I hope I did. There was a lot of screaming going on. Like, a lot yes. of screaming. You love to see it. Let no one say I have a complaint when this game goes really well. Because there isn't... It's, there isn't really anything you can do to the shape once it's off. Like, I... I you can sort of hide from it. Sort of. Sort of. What, once it once it like grasps your existence, like that's it. It'll find you. Yep. Ganran's asking if we've enabled loot gifting. Wait, is that a thing? No. Yes. Option. No, seems to be going on. So it's, by the sounds of what um, Snuggly's saying, is that the lore and the explanation behind this game is still ongoing. Hmm. The deck. Kinda spooky, but it changes you. Twitch Prime members can gift their stuff to a channel, from what I've read. Where? Uh, do I have to hit me up a thing? If that's a... If that's a, a, a Twitch backend thing, then I can, I can turn that on. Yeah. Free loot to the community. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, bear with me a second, Carl. I'm just gonna go switch that on. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some more tea and I'll be right back. No worry. Alright, bear with me all just a sec. 
I'm turning that on. That'd be real cool. Doki sends on channel. Uh, Snuggly, I will come back to those wonderful points in just a moment. Hmm. So, essentially, uh, Kandoram, what you can do is, if you have Twitch Prime, you can put goodies into a box and gift it to other people randomly on stream. streamer enables loot gifting, you'll see the community chest widget above. Alright, in the community creator dashboard on the live tab, you see the community chest widget. I am returned. Oh yeah, no, this is a thing. Alright. So, it is now enabled. Oh. Interesting. Um, so what it means is that people can gift stuff, and then I have a button I can push where people, um, where it will just give away games to people in chat. So apparently it's a um, dauntless uh, gunslinger bundle right now. Mm -hmm. That Dark Tower crossover. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's actually true, but... I li that's what I like to think. It would be cool. man who gifts with the sub button has forgotten the face of his father. Oh wow. I should have known you lot would all chuck in some stuff. Um, so we've got seven um, to give away right now. Or we can hold fire. I know what, let's just let's just test it out as a group. It's just us right now. Eight? Back it all. Alright, alright. Let's distribute those gifts now, and I'll I'll keep it open, and later on, if we want to do that on a break, then that will be feckin' cool. So let's see what happens when we distribute these little uh, these little gifts for everybody. All right, get ready for in a few seconds, eight gifts will go to lucky viewers of the channel. Let's see what happens. I wish one of the gifts was cheddar crackers because I'm about to run out. Oh, all right, so. I've given them all to the to the crowd. Uh, I got a copy of the Dauntless content drop, courtesy of Stepagen. Vagabond got one courtesy of Jaralan. Joda got one courtesy of uh, Ardoon. Hamstonader got one from Ardoon. Uh, one LT Strange, one still a range, got one thanks to Patch Rabbit uh, Recurio. Thank you kindly. Uh, Tani the Pixie got one thanks to Stepagen. Uh, uh, Vince Rance got one thanks to Ardoon, and Atari got one thanks to Stepagen. So, yeah, caffeine, this doesn't look like a, a good thing to do at the end of the day with credits. So that'll be a cool thing. Fucking cool. Yo. And yeah, and it pops up in my little notification saying Stepagen just gave you a, a dauntless content drop. That's fucking cool, thank you. That was nice of you. Excuse my cheeky hiccups. Right. <clears throat> uh, Alright, you lovely Mother Hubbards. Um, I tell you what, uh, Carl, if it's uh, okay with you, I'm going to take a quick uh, bathroom break. Yeah, go for it. And then, let's keep going. Um, if you have any questions for Kyle, questions about music, community management, video games, or why in the bloody hell someone would agree to do this two days, not just one day, but twice with me. These are all valid questions. I'm going to nip to the bathroom, and I'll be back with you yeah. all in just a second. It's Kyle time! Apparently it is Kyle time, so feel free to ask me any questions. Um, right answers only this time, no wrong answers. You can ask me about community management. You can ask me about photography. I do a bunch of live photography. You can ask me about singing, if you like. 
You can ask me about where I got my very comfortable pajama pants. Snugly, my uh, pajama pants are extremely comfortable. I got them at Walmart, of all places. Um, well, community management has a lot of different forms. And... Uh, <laughs> hey, just, uh, is it, 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 is it dismuke? Um, so yeah, community management, uh, just evolves in so many ways and it's just like, it's a necessary thing in not just the games industry, but the entertainment industry at large, just to, um, really have like an avatar for people to connect with, um, you know, to, to humanize the, the experience of having to connect with a brand. Um, and kind of remind people that it's just like, hey, you know, like, people work here, and it's important to remember that. Um, wow. Like, we, sh we shouldn't, we shouldn't like brands as a whole, because sometimes brands are terrible, but uh, we should still remember that um, that people work places. And that's kind of, that's kind of the heart of what community management is. Um, and I love talking to people and I love connecting with people. So it's really just, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of good to have that at the center of it. So, um, as far as my hair game goes, um, I do it myself. I just, uh, I get the, uh, the Arctic Fox, like the, uh, I forget, I forget the name of the color, but it's one of the pink colors for Arctic Fox. And then I shove my hair in a bag, like a plastic bag, and then I throw the dial over it, and then I wait like an hour. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I am taking singing questions, so if you have questions about that uh hit me legato and staccato exercises okay so <sighs> let's see i don't know if i have any exercises per se um I do warm-ups, and then what I do to practice is I sing, uh, I find songs in my personal range, and then I just sing those. I'm not, a, I'm not a teacher, unfortunately, so I don't have like a good bearing of uh, what sort of things would be good uh, in that regard. But I am, in a sense, a professional <laughs> because I have been paid for singing. <laughs> and once you get paid, you're a professional. Um, Dismuke, I, uh, I do covers on my YouTube channel. Um, I really need to update the videos for those, and I need to update some of the, some of the covers. Um, and, uh, you may have heard my voice in a Clash of Clans commercial. Uh, tips for expanding one's range. Practice. <laughs> that's really just that's that's really it. Um, but the other the other part of that is um, don't don't push yourself. You should find a range that's comfortable, and then a little above and a little below, and work in those ranges. Um, but don't like sing too much out of your 
natural voice just because you don't want to strain yourself and you don't want to hurt yourself. Like, I personally have about two and a half octaves uh, as far as singing is concerned. So, I mean, like, I do have some upper register stuff, which could maybe qualify me for three. Um, but it's not something that I use often just because it's like a strain on my voice and you don't want to do that to yourself just because it's not healthy. Um, as far as other things, uh, throat coat tea is extremely good for you um, because acid reflux is something that plagues singers quite often and uh, throat coat teas are uh, an, a remedy to uh, uh, acid reduction. So I'm a I'm a big big supporter of throat coat teas. Obviously, it helps a lot if you if you talk uh, quite a bit. Uh, so if you do like streaming or if you do any kind of customer service and you're just talking to people a lot, throat coat tea is the best. It's the best. The most challenging song I've sang. I don't know. The column juice, Jesus. Oh my god. I don't know what that is, but I'm afraid for my existence. Hello, hello. Hey, Will. Um. Sorry for interrupting. No, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, the disc mood came on in. What ho, friends? I feel like we got like a, a nice, slightly more chill day. Um. Today, today is a good day for banters. Yeah. It's, it is very interesting to see how many people kind of like in the game space are freaking out with how many games are coming out this week. Yeah, I'm tired already. <laughs> uh, it's only Thursday. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for Untitled Goose Game tomorrow. God, yes. Um, yeah. So, Ken and the thing Kendari and... Oh, go for it, dude. No, go ahead. I was, I was just going to say, one of the most challenging songs I've sang is... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, a dream in static by Earthside. My friend, uh, my friend Dan, sings on that track, and he's wow. like, yeah, he's like the, he's like one of the best singers I know. So I'm just like, I'm like, I'm intimidated, uh, just by his existence, but it's fine. <laughs> I know. Yeah, okay, Takara. I am also very tired, so I relate to that quite a bit. I know it's from the pinnacle of like trashy animes but the phrase that gets me through kind of like interacting with people like that good old naruto just with the that i think it was like season one when he's like this is not the first time you're gonna meet someone who's younger than you and better than me and i have to kind of remind myself of that like there will always be those those das wunderkind so oh yeah absolutely But I also try to remind myself, especially in the games world, like, you know, what I lack in talent, I can make up for in work. Um, but yeah, there's... It's not, it's not even just that. Like, you have to, uh, you have to be unique in, in a way. And I think, um, I think people like you and I, um, we have a very specific brand that's not seen in games. And it's that we're friendly and we have long hair. Yeah. We're not angry about video games. Yeah, Which it's, it's like it's like you, me, and Brad, and like that's it. Yeah, <laughs> everyone else is just like they've, they've got the look, but they've got nothing but rage. And despite all my rage, I'm still a rat in a cage. I would have said Nicholas Cage, but there we go. Hmm. Oh, I, I have to go for the uh, the Billy Corgan. I'm understandable. Right. Understandable. Well, come on. Before I lose so not in a uh, and here's Will being angry about a thing, but here's a curious thing I noticed. So um, there was some discussion earlier in the week, kind of like in the general games media, about how we focus very much on the English language first when it comes to creating games and talking about games. Oh yeah, I saw Jenny talking about that, yeah. uh, and it's it's very right. Yeah. It's very right. But one of the things that's really interesting is no one else mentioned Metal Gear Solid Five. Not no one. I was the only person who was like, what is the plot to MGS5? Which is literally about 
waging war on the English language. Mm -hmm. How... If, if the English language was a creature, it's the one that has eaten all the rest. Mm -hmm. And, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to drop a little hot spoiler for some Metal Gear Solid Five. so if you need to block your ears right now, I do understand. But it has been many years. There is a small segment in MGS5 where a disease breaks out in your base. And at first it starts out with flu-like symptoms, and then it starts killing people, right? Mm. So you have to build a quarantine area and look after your people. You're then tasked with the job of finding out what is the common vector amongst everyone. What right. is it that's transferring this disease from some people and not others? Because it's not just wiping out everybody. It's not just going across the entire base. It's only getting certain people, right? Mm -hmm. What the game forces you to do is look at each person's profile and realize that it's only English language speakers. Interesting. Getting sick and dying. Kojima asks you to look at this and then realize... The English language is one not only not the standard for every person, but also, you know, is a is a major factor. Most people mm -hmm. overlook it, and the game will tell you if you need it to. It doesn't leave you swinging in the breeze, but right. as as a piece of art, it tells you straight up that that the English language is a dominant language that has destroyed so many others. Well, I mean, colonization. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, the, the point that they put forward is that English is the language of spies. Hmm. You know, code, ciphers, all of those since the fall of, since World War II, like, English has been the language. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that they get you to think about that. And while I'm not going to let Kojima off his bullshit, I do respect the fact that they kind of turn around and go, yeah, this is a thing that happens. Hmm. And you wouldn't expect Mr. You know, boobs out quiet to be the person putting forward a nuanced point like that. I'm still, well, for all, I'm still for, all the, for all the mistakes that Kojima makes, his his role as an auteur in the games industry and like the team that he creates during the creative process, it's just it's pensive and thoughtful. Yeah. Like obviously, like obviously, it's not perfect, but it is. It does make you consider things uh, outside of, I guess, the normal game spectrum, uh, that not a lot of games do. Well, it's no one else does it at the AAA space. Yeah, uh, very very few do actually. Um, I would also say that Gorilla does now, especially after Horizon. But Horizon is one of my favorite games, and I found it profoundly powerful. Yeah. Oh, good. They got CCTV. Yeah, and there's somebody. Um, let's go around the front, honestly. Yeah. So yeah, it's just it's one of those topics that I do like discussing because. Um... Oh. <laughs> okay, now we're fine. It's not a. Uh... It's not a lucid, so we good. Yeah. Um, yeah, one of the things that uh, has been really interesting is seeing how games media has been talking about um, Death Stranding before it's come out. Mm. I found that really curious. Woo! Watch out for that truck. Watch out for the truck. Don't walk too close to it. <laughs> oh, God! Fuck. Sorry, you told me not to, and there was a guy behind me, and I wasn't looking. <laughs> So you can get a cross street for that. Uh, very doubtful, Watto. Uh, very doubtful saying missed the beginnings of the conversation, so apologies if it's already been mentioned. But as someone who sucks at shooting bits and games, thrilled that Death Standing story mode will be for casuals. Oh, god, yes. In fact... Oh, um, yeah, I, I saw that too. That's a really, like... I'm glad that more games are doing that because it's not just... I mean, it's not just a... I'm bad at games, but it's an accessibility thing too. Well, it's... I mean, Kojima's done that with... So all the Metal Gear Solids had a stupid easy mode. Uh, in fact, MGS3 even had, what was it, the, the Easy Pistol, which was a reloadable, silenced tranquilizer rifle. Alright, and I've got the last one, so you have hey, look at five us. posters and I have one. Alright, looks um, like we're going downstairs. Good. Yeah. And now we, uh... Oh, oh okay. So uh, I guess... Okay. Alright, I can get the one around this far side. Um, but yeah. 
Now, the thing that I did want to say, and we chatted a little bit about this yesterday, is that accessibility is the key. Um, mm. And thinking about what a game's experience is and what it's trying to make you feel and what it's trying to make you think about and what it's trying to show you and then mm -hmm. tailoring the difficulty to that I think is ideal. So like it doesn't matter if you play Death Stranding on the hardest or easiest modes. The, yeah. the narrative it's trying to tell is one that seems to be a commentary on the, the kind of current US culture which is one of like division and separatism mm -hmm. and you know Norman Reedus kind of plays the, the shorthand for person connecting everyone back together yeah um, or at least that's the that's the that's my feels i'm getting from it currently um i mean i'm sure mads mickelson's you know spetsnaz uh, umbilical babies will be okay yeah there's just she's just following me <sighs> all right um, i'm gonna i'm gonna cat fence it for a little bit Oh wow, yeah, no, she she got it in for you. Oh, uh, very doubtful. There are a couple of uh, uh, charities that do that. Um, Special Effect is one, uh, and they create custom controllers for people with disabilities. Yeah, Able Gamers is another big one. Yeah, they're both real good, and I I personally support both of them. Hmm. Oh, just you should be okay, but just watch out for. Boy up there. <gasps> oh, okay. you jammy mother hobbit. <laughs> yeah. You saw that happening in real time. Yep. <laughs> um, now, the thing we were talking about yesterday, Kyle, um, was a game called Lobotomy Corporation. Mm -hmm. And Lobotomy Corporation um, presents itself as a difficult game. It's actually super, super easy. Like, infinite retries, as many attempts as you like. Like, you can basically keep rolling on monsters and, des and designs and layouts until you get what you need. Okay. Because it wants you to think that you're running this incredibly difficult, like, you basically run your own SCP facility. You get handed okay, different uh, anomalies. What is an SCP facility? Oh, shit. Um, she heard. No. That's all right. I'm well out of her range. We well, you know like um, like the creepy pastas and the, the online sci-fi. It's like uh, SCP oh, yeah. containment. Okay. You yeah, run I got a facility you. like the SCP containment facility. That's your job. I um, gotcha. It looks a little bit like Fallout Shelter, mm -hmm. and at first it seems very complicated, like stupid complicated. But as you play through it, it lets you try and retry as much as you want. You basically mm -hmm. keep going at it until you win, because the game's not a challenge. The, the goal of the game is not to challenge you as a as a leader, challenge you as a as a manager. The game is telling a narrative. Not evil. Mm -hmm. It's just using what appears to be a management game to tell that story. It doesn't need right. to be hard. It doesn't need to have like permadeath or like crippling mechanics or having to restart ten hours of gameplay. Mm. It needs to have a little bit of consequences. So things need to be able to go wrong. Like you need to lose a team of volunteers. To horrific deaths and stuff like that you know mm -hmm. things need to break containment because you need to experience that but that's right that's just part of that it's part of the experience mm. like mgs5 has a very specific story it was at least intending to tell and if you rubble stop your way through the challenge bits that part's done now what cool so now we yard signs huh that's a new one having a nice bake sale there we go be adora what oh friend um so that's been my thoughts on it um i fully agree that having easier modes in games is good uh, i just i get a little bit teeth grindy about suggesting it without taking the the, the different games into consideration but mm. accessibility is always a must always um, my buddy Doug did a really good talk at BAFTA about um, uh, accessibility with colorblindness. Mm. Um, Thor over on Heartbound, uh, the reason why his main colors are yellow and purple for his like color philosophy is it's one of the... Uh, there's a correct term for it, but it's like, if you are colorblind, this is one of the few you'll be able to see most of a certainty. I can break right. the lock here if we need it. Sorry, I can color combinations. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I think we're going to need it because it's inside. All right, let's get us in. All right, we're in. All right. Oh, there's two of them right next to each other. Okay. Okay. And there may be three in the next place. Shut that front door. Oh. Do you have another lockpick? Let's see if we can get him around. Okay, I'm just gonna tag that. Camera, Robert. watch that oh, spotlight. Oh shit! Oh shit! I was perceived. What? I'm not sure what perceived me. Oh. But I was perceived. Oh, Is there somebody inside? Sleeper right in front of me. Oh. Sleeper. All right. I am no longer perceived. All right. Following you back. Around. Nope. There's somebody there. Heard me step on a twig or something. Are they following you? No. Alright, this is gonna be a challenge. Nope, oh, there's another uh, one. So, Catros is saying most missions in MGS5 annoyed them, and having to let their subordinates die to the language virus made them sad. I dislike that the language virus killed subordinates because I worked really hard and I looked after my team. And. I, I don't agree with asking users to put in that level of care to their like subordinates or pet characters or what have you, and then having them die for narrative reasons. Well, the thing about that is that you can right. do everything without and still fail. Yep. It was a it was a lucid. Becca had to go. Yeah. No, you're right. Oh. Assuming the drone doesn't come back here, I've got an idea. What is your idea? Haha! -ha. Let's check the clubhouse. Maybe I can buy another lockpick. Or a little club base. Alright, well, it's a foam grenade, so I can give us a little bit more. And we've got flashbang, another trank round, and nothing useful. Alright, I'll buy another trank guard just in case. Oh yeah, caffeine with uh, with Ares. I mean, I'm I'm in two minds, caffeine, because I agree with your statement. Like Ares dying in Final Fantasy VII was heartbreaking, especially if like a bunch of us you'd leveled her up to max and put a bunch of materia on her staff and like got her like proper top tier. But then Ares' death wouldn't have mattered if you hadn't put in the hours. That's essentially how Square Enix made us feel lost. Snuggly just informed me I didn't pick up the track dog because I'm an idiot. That's fair. There we go. Alright. Thank you, Snuggly! Uh, and <laughs> Snuggly, end of this section, I will uh, ask your your thoughts and feels. Because you were saying that the meta of this game is... Uh, the meta narrative... No, not meta narrative, but the overarching narrative of this game is very ARG-like, which makes me very happy as a as a... Allison Smith fan. And Catros makes a real good point, which is on the losing your characters in MGS. While it is annoying and infuriating, we feel what. Oh, there's another one. Sleepwalker. Damn it. He just went in. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna 360 drone scope this because there must be a way in. All right. All right. So all the back windows are closed. Heck, security conscious jerks. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna need to kick in the door. There's one window open, Bob. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! So there's one window open, but it's the toilet window around the side. You'd have to do some crazy ass like Bennett body style jumps to get there. Right. And Shackle, let me get back to your point in just a second. 
So Snuggly is suggesting we could try parkour, parkour. Woo. Oh, Fuck. Kyle, why? Woo! <laughs> Fuck! Wow, that worked really well. Get down. There's another one! How is there more? There I don't know! Well, I've got his phone! Now it is. Piss! All right. Come, we, come, we, come, come, come. Oh, I bet it's real effective. Oh, it's right on me, isn't it? Yup. For some reason, I've got Karma Chameleon stuck in my head. You come and go! You come and go! <laughs> How many? How many at two? Alright. There's... Alright, we still gotta hold it down. Oh, he is right on my ass! Oh, good! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no 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 no! Take us away! Take us away! Oh god, now it's after me. Goodness We're fucked. Sad, We're way fucked. You got this, I believe you! I do not have this. You got this, I believe in you. Shape clutch! Will, your faith is misplaced. <laughs> Sorry, John was at the window again. Alright. Thing is, I can't even help you with, like, looking at where it is. I saw one of the bad kids, Mom. Please! Make him go away, Dad! They have a bad attitude! <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. I'm like, make him go! Kyle has a bad attitude! Oh god. Oh, it's like right there! No! No! <laughs> I save you only to get captured myself. F's in the chat! Oh shit, you're being dragged away. You are being ragdolled. <laughs> anyway. It's alright, I got this, I got this. Got an idea. Oh no, I have. Oh god! Anyway, uh, what are we even talking about? We're we're very good at games. Mm. Very good at video games. Jesus. 
it goes wrong so quickly. Yeah, like one wrong move and just everything falls apart. That's a big epic chat. Theodore's like, it's fine! Of course it's everything fine. Everything is okay, I guess. Alright, once more with feeling, Carl, we got this. We do. Got kit, got stuff. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, a Trinity Camp! What ho, friend! So Joey McKin Shackle saying, read the Final Fantasy VII Aerith Dead. Something many miss and that I always thought was brilliant that moment around is the Genova life fight takes place uh, between the stab, but before you could do anything. So as interpreted, the reason you can't just Phoenix down is that Genova delayed you too long. Okay. Hmm. Jack's Gold just suggesting we get an orbital cannon. I think that's at the top of my skill tree, so I think we just have to level up to get there. Hmm. I don't recall seeing that in the skill tree, but... I'm sure it's there. I'm sure it's there. If Jack said it, it must be true. Kandoran's like, in before the Aerith Lives DLC in the remake. So, I'm actually wondering what kind of route they're going to take with the remake, because... Yeah. Like, the, the first game that they're doing is just an extremely expanded Midgar. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's an extremely high chance that it's just not going to be anything like the Seven that we already know. Like, it already isn't. Like, d did you play the, uh, did you play the demo? No. It, um, it was at the point where people were selling, uh, the, uh, the tickets to play it. Like, it was crazy. Had I known, I would have... I would have done something for you. I got plenty of friends at Square. Um, but with that in mind... Oh, hey Jax. I'm Kyle. Kyle Gatto. You may have seen me online. I post a lot of bad content. <laughs> um, I'm a community manager in the game space. You may have seen me most recently on Escapist Magazine. Uh, I'm also... <laughs> Catastros. How dare you? I would never... Um, but you're thinking it real loud. Yes, that uh, is true. But yeah, it's one of those things whereby sometimes the flaws create the nuances of a game unintentionally. Um, mm. I was chatting to someone about this because, okay, so Neon Genesis Evangelion got a re-release on uh, Netflix, right? Mm -hmm. But new voice cast, mm -hmm. new voice cast, and they got rid of the "Fly Me to the Moon" ending. Yeah, which is tragic. Yeah. Now, I'll level with you. The Fly Me to the Moon ending was by no means the best part of it and didn't make a lot of sense. Um, okay, no, it's not that it didn't make sense. It's that because the opening starts off very, like, classic Japanese TV and ends in this, like, this proper banger of an opening theme. Mm. But the start of um, Cruel Angel Thesis is really cheesy. Mm-hmm. And by the end of it, you're just like fucking hands in the air, like yes, fucking game Shinji. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But then Cruel the Angel ending is the banger of all time. Yeah. But then Fly Me to the Moon at the end was always quite smooth, and there was a few different versions of it. Mm -hmm. But what I realised trying to go back and watch the Netflix version is that a lot of that, a lot of the quirks and the weirdness ended up becoming something real special. Because um, mm -hmm. I was an anime fanatic back in my youth, and I watched and rewatched the the DVD of End of Evangelion, and listening to the boys cast talking about what they had to do and how they made certain things happen, mm -hmm. uh, and some of the little details in that was really interesting. And while you can make a case that the new English cast is, does a better job with it, at least in the initial first few episodes, mm -hmm. I did not gel with it. Some of the weird quirks ended up feeding into the nuance, you know what I mean? Yeah, so w one of my major gripes about the new dub is that it's just... It feels dispassionate. Uh, in, in the sense that... Um, 
I think they, I think they kind of, it feels like they recorded to record and like they knew what they were doing, but they also lacked like, I guess the energy to really get into the characters, to really understand the characters. Or to, tr or, or and, and even try to like make it their own in a way. Um, I don't know. That's, that's, that's my gripe. Yeah. I mean... Shackle's putting forward another one, which is the uh, the congratulations ending. It's still... I mean, it didn't make no sense, but it was very, very weird and very Evangelion. Almost... A friend of mine put it to me that, imagine you and your team are making the hottest show about giant robots. The hottest show in television. Like, ends up being like a worldwide phenomenon. Uh, sorry, a nationwide phenomenon while it's airing. And for the last two episodes, you basically just have people talking like metaphysical and emotional stuff in you, right? Mm. Like that's a brilliant, like that's a brilliant bait and switch. There's no gigantic well, robot battle at the end of a robot anime. Like, well, a lot, a lot of it was. I mean, the studio was running out of money, and it's just like, and it's just like a lot of it was like creative vision. So, I mean, there was definitely like different factors because. I mean, way back when Evangelion was still airing, it was still being created while it was airing. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. And I, I heard a lot of the stories. Back in the day, there was multiple rumors as to why the ending was the way it was. One was they ran out of money. Another was the Tokyo subway attack. Uh, another was they, uh, they were contractually obliged to do two more episodes than they planned to. Mm. I always like that as a joke. But... In some regard, I try and look at Evangelion as a standalone, and I know that's almost naive on my part, but I just remember someone saying that, like, um, uh, Death and Rebirth and End of Evangelion was the, the creative team's way of saying, oh, oh, you want a different ending? I'll give you an ending! You know what I mean? What? Well, so, so end of Evangelion, like it, it was the team so saying that they were like, you, like you really hate us that much, and then they made, they made end of Evangelion as kind of like a, yep. kind of like a fuck you, <laughs> a brilliant, wonderfully animated, gorgeous fuck you, but a fuck you. Yes. Yeah. All right, I got so much goodies. I got a few goodies myself. But we're back on the stolen phone hunt again. Typical. Uh, Shackle's saying that uh, something they loved about uh, Eva is it starts off as a giant robots fight giant monsters. But as the series goes on, you slowly realize that there's other stuff and realize that other stuff is important. By the end, the giant robot fights aren't as important. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it turns out we were the monsters. The real monsters, man! Oh, uh, we can hop the fence and take the... Um, uh, got a sleeper here, but Remember, we can take the sleeper keep bunker entrance. This might um, be a problem later, so I'm gonna disable it. You know what? Getting rid of that now while everything's fine sounds pretty good to me. <sighs> down, down. Oh, mm. ignore me! Whose baby is this? Are you getting seen? I am being heard. I'm going back up in the treehouse. I'm going to sip my drink. I'm going to buy a bread. Contemplate my failures. Um. But just for the record, Crow Angel Thesis is playing in my head right now. Nice. Oh, Trinity Cap says, could someone please describe this game and what's going on? I'm so sorry, Trinity. It's me being a terrible host. So this is the Blackout Club. Um, this is, uh, if you took Thief, Left for Dead and Gloomhaven and smashed them all together uh, and then served lightly over a side of Strange Things. Uh, it is a multiplayer co-op horror sneak-em-up uh, in which you play members of the Blackout Club, a group of 13, 14-year-olds who must try and find out why every night their parents are sleepwalking around town and getting up to shenanigans. So, so Caffeine asked a question earlier uh, about if voice actors would be able to make some make the dub their own and uh that's actually generally you know it's it's like any acting gig uh that's what you hire an actor for they have to make it their own 
yeah. you find somebody who best fits the role and then they evoke a certain characterization of whatever it's supposed to be yeah and you know what that raises a really interesting point and i don't bring this up to be gauche or uh, to be um uh mimetic but i have reached the point now where when it comes to all the dragon ball z stuff my head cannon is dragon ball z abridged like the abridged voices and their their characterizations feel more canon to me now than the other ones mm. and I would say that it comes from those people taking a character and making their own. Now, obviously, they have the luxury of being able to re-edit the content and being able to do silly things with it. Oh, crap. We've got to loose it down well, there. Well, Caffeine, it's not even just, like, about the remake. It's just a redub. Um, like, all the story exists, all the characterization exists. Like, all of it already exists. So, it would... Like there, there was there was no reason to redub it unless that's what Gynax wanted, which in part it was. Uh, Gynax owns like a scripting studio and a dubbing studio and all that, so it's like they were in charge of that. Um, they were in charge of like the script changes, which a lot of people were upset about, and rightly so. Wonderful. In in Back some ways, here. because there was a, there was a certain authenticity to the original script. Oh, oh shit. Alright. Um, now, I've watched the, the cinematic cuts where they've added characters and changed things. Oh, crap! I'm rumbled. I'm very rumbled. There's no iron team, but there's a U, and I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> I should write that down. That was very good. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide over here. I'm just gonna hide over here. I'm also hiding. Wow, we fucked up real fast. <laughs> <laughs> What's that um, wanky tech saying? Fail faster? I don't know. You know, from all those. Wanky tech meets you go to, sorry. Alright, I think we're good. Nope, I'm not. Oh no, we are not! Sleeper. I'm extremely not good right now. Nervously sings Cruel Angel's thesis? <laughs> I sing when I'm nervous! People don't hire me for stealth, alright? Wow, he really just jumped down like that. He didn't even climb the ladder or anything. Old boy just jumped down. Crunch. That's the superhero landing. All right. Thankfully, I had flashbangs, so I'm I'm okay. Where were we? Oh yes, cruel angel thesis. Anyway, round right. two. Uh, so I have two lock picks. I have no lockpicks. All right, so keep an eye on me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the, I'm gonna open the first potential doohickey box. All right. Yeah. But is there anything useful in here? Energy bar. Might be useful. So we could open this up and. I'm gonna just try up on here. Um, but yeah, so friends, um, the one I'd be really interested to know people's feels on is for. Um, oh. Yeah, somebody walking around here. We've got the loose. The lucid saw me! It's alright, it's crossbow time. I'm gonna electrocute him! Do it. I need more people here. Yes, it worked. I know the blackout club rules is uh, is no fatalities, but he might have just fallen on his neck, or they. I don't actually see. It sounded like a. It sounded like a man. It doesn't matter. 
we live in a progressive world, even in the 80s. Sleeper. That man is just electrocuted. He is not. He's... He will wake up. Oh, totally. Uh, the horse tranquilizer I put in him, absolutely no chance of an electric oh. reaction. Oh, okay. Uh, twin with the fall he made off that fucking place. <sighs> so, uh, Clanker. <laughs> uh, the Lucids are. Uh, basically, they can see and hear you. Uh, so, generally, the sleepers here, they are, for all intents and purposes, sleeping. So, they can only detect you by sound. Oh yeah, Kandran, I do like the idea of taking the knockout trait and just yelling. We have to yell, John Cena! Ba, ba, da, ba. All right, so assuming there's nothing bad here, I can lockpick this one. It does mean the last crate we're gonna have to crack open. Unless we Provided find... we don't find more lockpicks. We might get lucky. As somebody, as somebody with an erratic sleep schedule, I also cannot sleep, and it also annoys me. So I understand. Dude, I woke up unnaturally early this morning. Over there, fucked me up. Oh, got some foam grenades over here. I'll take me some of those. Hey, Starcat, Watto. Starcat's like sleep. What's that? Who oh. is she? Don't know her. I haven't. Don't know. I haven't met her. All right. All right. There's another chest up top there. So maybe. Let's go have a look. Yeah, there's a goodie. Because the lucid's out, so. Yeah. Um, when I was heavily, heavily into Ultima Online and doing full time education, um, I did not sleep. I did not sleep for, for diddly. And mm. so what my body would do is trick me into sleeping. Yeah. So, like, um, I would. Oh, yes, not a lockpick. You called it, friends, you called it. Uh, so I would think that I was uh, awake and doing my morning routine and heading to wherever I needed to be. Actually, I'm still sound asleep. I just don't know it. That is awful. I mean, it was kind of. It felt like a mundane waste of it. Oh god. Uh, sleep down here. Yeah. It felt like a mundane waste of a uh, of a nap, but it weren't bad. It weren't bad. Snuggly's had that. Starcats also informing us that it's nearly Friday where they are. I think it's nearly Friday anywhere because it's Thursday. And also time isn't real, so. Yeah. Time is a human construct. Lunchtime, doubly so. Fuck, back up, back up, back up, back up! That's a lucid right there. Oh, okay. It's drone time! Buzz flies a lot! Away! So, I think the way we're gonna get past the Lucid here is uh, a little prank phone call action. Wait, why are they coming? I cannot prank phone call them! Run and hide, run and hide! Out of track rounds. You good? I'm good. Oh! <laughs> Reflective like, this is just payday 2 with more horror. Whoa! Oh, oh, can't be pranked at early levels. I guess that makes sense. Oh, good. <laughs> and they can see drones. Oh, good. So that's on me. That's on me. Beodora's like, oh, if this is the 80s, use your cell phone to bludgeon them to death. No killing. Jack Sculpt is not Dark Souls. Just just regular bludgeoning then, not to death. Yeah. But Jax is determined to prove that all games are Dark Souls. 
I don't like this. Oh, I've got an idea. Right. So I've got a sleeper trap, right? Okay, yeah, me too, actually. We lay a couple of sleeper traps. I fly uh, Buzz Flight Year in there. And jobs are good, right? Maybe. Although this one might get it first. For them to okay, wait for this sleeper to walk back up. We lay a sleepy okay. trip mine in the path. I flow drony drone face over and go bam 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 bam. The lucid decides to come out for a little adventure hike. They pull the trip wire. We to toss their sleeping self into the middle of nowhere. Sound like a plan? Wait, did you throw the other person into the abyss? No, no, they went back to their post. Oh, okay. So if you pop a that way, if you pop a sleeper trap there, okay, then I'm gonna go make some friends. Are you are you sure that I should do this? Yep. Okay. Bam 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 bam. All right, hiding is also a good idea. Climbing up. Ah, uh, here they come. Why did I get noticed? Why is he coming up towards me? Hello, do you want to make more money? Of course you do. Discover the quick, easy ways to luck, fame, and good health with our free gift to you. With our handy dandy brochure. Oh, fuck me! John Cena, do 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 do. What? What? I I was seen. Holy shit, it's right there. Holy shit, it's right there. What's where? I am seen. Oh shit, the bed! It is right after you. I know it is. <laughs> I'm gonna go hide. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm super fucked. I'm gonna go hide. I love you, dude. Goodbye. I'll, I'll come rescue you in a second. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> See? It's fine. But this mook's like falling out. It's alright. I'm gonna go rescue Kyle in a second. Starcat's fine! Why does no one believe in me? Oh. Alright, it's not tracking me currently. Doesn't know where I am. <laughs> Kess was like, what ho? I returned from Meet the Teacher Night. We've been playing Meet the Teacher Night all game. It's been having varying levels of success. Dismook's like, do you want an honest answer to that, Will? Good news, Kyle, is that I have a lockpick and there is one last place to look. And it is inside there. And then I can come rescue you. So, congratulations on being my new challenge. <laughs> Did I disable what? The speed trap. Did you disable this I, earlier? I did. Right before I got right before I got taken over. You hacking legend. <laughs> I'm like, this is a good idea to do this. If I'm gonna go out, I'm doing it. Alright. So I have to go down from here, then go underneath, sneak up into the room where you are, bring you Oh god! <laughs> Watch out for that speed trap. I. 
says with a crunchy, crunchy ankle. But you saw so, that, right? That feckin' sleeper was just like, surprise! Yeah. And he was all like, psych, and then it got super scary. Uh, you should disable that speed trap while you're there. That's a really good idea. Once, uh, once Sleepy Jones, my jerk face is left. What? So, so Trinity, um, there is an entity. Um, and we Which, just know it is the shape. Somehow we summoned it last time. Yeah. I'm not even. I'm not even sure how it saw us. Um, unless, unless it's because we were doing things near the door. Life. And it's now or never. <laughs> Wish I could remember more of this, but uh, both uh, fear and uh, caffeination have destroyed my memory. Uh, and again, friendos, if anyone sees Lily Longbean in chat, give us a shout. Because they were smart, they put their uh, username on their package, so I know. <laughs> so coming back to me now. Remember, it's left trigger to save you. There I am. I'm on top of the... Alright, I'm down again. Welcome back! I told you I'd <laughs> save you! I believed in you. What? Okay. Thank you. I got you. Thank you. I got a lockpick for this as well. So I was gonna just pick it open. Just kablam! Uh, Alright. Part of it. Feck. Alright, we gotta go back up to the service and invest a uh, break in. Uh, this door's locked though, so we have to smash it in. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I have a lockpick. This room with the power of Satan compels you! Oh, Kyle, please tell me you saw the, um, the Satan loves everyone uh, people at PAX. No. It might have been maybe. one of my favorite things this year. I did manage to get a photo with them, though, which was a real. It's a real shoot. Ooh. Tripwires. Come get Lovely. some. Come get some. Two of them. Bit more nice. All right, and we back. Sin does call the angel. So you know, you know what I'm. I, I was just thinking. Uh, we're not really getting any of that advanced horror stuff, even though we're talking a whole bunch. Yet. Yet. I mean, we haven't seen in a while. It was pretty frequent when we first started, and now completely absent. Who just discovered a body? What do you mean, who just discovered a body? Because you don't see disco a body discovered. Oh, it means it was discovered. It was this guy that's also passed out. Okay, we're going to leave them right now. Uh, so, to Beef Nugget Stew, I would like to say what and welcome. Uh, we're playing this on PC and having a marvelous time. Christian. All right, I guess that makes sense. Where did you go? Oh, okay. Sleepwalker. That is, that is a whole ass person just walking around there. Just doing their thing. Just getting a dang sandwich. In the middle of the night, I've been walking in my sleep. Been looking for sandwich. Been looking for sandwich. Uh, Jack Skulch, thank you for refilling the, uh, the growler. Headstones in the chat? I mean, a little preemptive, some might say. So, so far, our best strategy is to just offer, offer someone else up to the shape and then come back yeah. again. Like, the, the honorable death is not worth it. 
you get any more um, uh, lock picks? I have one lock pick. Oh, actually, we can get up from the awning into the top bedroom. Oh, watch out, sleeper on the right. Sleepwalker. Drone noise is simple if heard. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'm gonna get rid of this speed trap because I don't trust them. Smart. Uh, I'm getting stalked by this guy, so. Oh, there's another one. Yeet myself over this fence. All right. That's a speed trap. You kidding this? All right, I'm inside. There's a Beep. so much meat. All right, I've got an idea. Hold on. I also have an uncomfortable, uncomfortable situation. Yeah, they are both coming for you. personal, but also meep! Alright, I've got another flashbang and a fine grenade, so it's not too bad. And... I don't have any darts, but I have two traps. <laughs> Jax is now enjoying sharing the, um, there's no I in team. Okay, okay. Let's talk oh, deep in here. Oh, followed by meep! What are, what's going on? Talk to me, Kyle. I'm in a base. Uh, I'm in a garage. I'm fine. <laughs> Somebody just came out the front door, and I panicked a little. It's fine. It's fine. Is everything fine? It's fine. Jungle, jungle. Oh! Shit, the bed! Beef Nuggets, you. Thank you kindly for throwing us a follow. Uh, we play an inordinate number of different games. I have Kyle Gatto, who is a games industry cool kid. Ooh. Yeah, that's me. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot. Everything is very tense. Yeah. Alright. So, there is a sleeper up here. Okay. I thought she was coming down the stairs, so I misplaced this trap. Oh. There's okay. two more bits of evidence to find in the house, and it's not the front door. It's not. Oh, here she comes. So nope. Do... Sorry. Alright, you're my new tag. Okay. Alright, I think this is the way down. To... Oh, okie dokie. You know what? Oh, wait, no. Oh. I got one! Oh. Alright. Good news. She's, uh, she's down. The other good news is... Lock pick. I'm gonna put her into bed. Aww. That's sound. So, I have been noticed. I'm not sure by what. That's alright, there's another strip wire on the feckin' stairs. You can do your full tap routine up here. Oh, excuse me. Chicky tea burps. In a town where every computer is blue screened. In a town. Oh, fuck. <laughs> where every computer is blue screened. Yes. Alright. And what's the club got to say? Yeah. GTFO. Oh, there's a game I'm looking forward to. Oh, yeah. I, I keep forgetting, like, that's a game name. Yup. <laughs> uh, Snuggly is saying time to leg it. Beef's asking what level we are. We are level 4. We are level 4 because we've failed too many times and haven't gotten up to level 5. Alright. Alright, backyard's clear. Which is also what my dating profile says. Backyards here? My god. Oh, beef nugget, we will we will find it when we find it. 
Um, as Beaver's warning us that there is more stuff to come at five. So, oh good. But the thing I guess I did want to ask, uh, like, Snugly and people like that is, it does seem like both the community and... Well, the community is also kind of very much in-game. You see that sleeper? Um... Actually, you know what? Let me ask Let me ask him that question when we are clear and free, because we both know what's happened. Uh, Astral Moon. What? Oh! Uh, Prolo's heading to bed. Oh. Well, Prolo, I hope you get some decent sleeps, friend. Make sure you have some water before you go to bed, just because it's good to hydrate, and also get some restful rest. Hail hydrate. Even villains agree. Hydration is key. Now that one, I, I'm not even charging for that one, Kyle. Uh, Miyaki is asking if we both have interactive mode on. We absolutely do. We do. Um, Snuggly, however, said it's uh, inconsistent as far as uh, game implementation is concerned. So we've been talking a lot, but unfortunately, uh, the game hasn't prompted us to close our eyes. That's fine. Um, I mean, what we could do is, uh, I, is start a new session after this. That might, uh, that might help spark it. Because we did have um, a... Uh, a myriad of quiet between sessions yes, uh, last time. Shackle's like, are we not commenting on the bottomless cliff at the edge of a town? Oh, that seems pretty normal. It's fine. It's fine. It's just a, a lovely little cul-de-sac on a cliff mountain high above the rest of the world. All you right, know... So Ooh. Ooh. Not really about voice activity, huh? Interesting. And Beef Nugget says that we haven't got their attention. There we go, level five! Yeah, Will, you're slightly ahead of me because of that, uh, the disconnect from before. Oh, no! Yeah, so I didn't get any XP from that mission. So you'll be level five next mission. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you were dreaming. Do you wish to remember? All right, so if you're wondering about some of the things that Beef and um, Snuggly have been talking about, here's an example. Oh, God, so I'd like to know what this even does, because I have not heard a single word from you or have any idea what this is supposed to be doing. <laughs> My friend. Do you truly not know what proper prayer is capable of? Come. Maybe a few more prayers, and another one of us will swing by. stalker new missions are available and new areas of the maze so i think that'll be if i'm hosting that should be for us both though right maybe Hope yes so. well we'll get you some xp it'll be fine it'll be fine everything will be okay and i love to suffer and die okay so i got one point of power available Shackles like you gotta you've earned PowerPoint. Next level, you get Excel. <laughs> so Eye in the Sky lets me record video evidence with my phone. Drone Strike gives you uh, your drone attachments for a stun gun and a tranquilizer shoots that shoots darts, that's pretty good. And then signal boost includes this uh sight there. So friendos, if you're wondering. Kyle's been going down the um, the prank call path, so Kyle can now. You can do prank caller. Can you do off the grid, or just prank call? Let's see. Oh, that's minor powers. Uh, I cannot do off the grid yet. So next level. 
hopefully. Um, yeah, and uh, war dial is when you can get lucid. Hmm. But off the grid, it will allow you us to disable uh, security cameras and stuff like that. So that would be very helpful. That will be very helpful. Bandage, 10% of stamina. Sometimes you pick up an item from a supply chest and you find a second one. Uh, I'm going to save my points for now. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Some candy. Mm. All right. I think we've had more luck, more luck starting in uh, in Hordley East. Like starting up on the hill tends to mess us up like a whole bunch. You know what I mean? Hmm. So. Oh, got some love going on in the chat. Beadora getting hugs. Yeah, uh, Beadora's been um, uh, Beadora's been very under the weather at the moment. So, Beadora, I do hope you're feeling better. Yes, do that, or else. <laughs> Feel better, or else. <laughs> oh, I want that on a T-shirt. Right. Do you know? Uh... Do you know Hunter? He uh, He's the social media community guy for Berserk Studio, but he used to work at Jinx, and he's a general wealth of knowledge within the games industry. Lamentably, I don't think I've... I don't, I, well, I wouldn't claim to know him. I might have met him, but... Potentially. Are you ready to dive um, back in? Yeah, let's go. Um, but he, he made shirts, and uh, they say... Best friends forever, or else. And I have one, and I love it. That's all. That's the whole story. Ah, so I'm sorry I missed that. Snuggly was letting us know that uh, in reference to the enhanced horror stuff, we can read about some of the guys in the mirror. And Tapping Tap is trying to play uh, Slay the Spire uh, as the silence. Good luck! Uh, I've only ever done it uh, with Ket next to me telling me what to do. So, All right. But I got a free track dart at the beginning. So, mm -hmm. so we're on a we're on a winning start here, Kyle. Piece of cake, right? Having an extra track dart? Yes. Yeah. God, I still remember first time I bumped into that door by mistake. Reflector says, I'm wondering if you got the two things I sent to you, just wondering if they made it. Um, <laughs> I received a package from Jaraland yesterday, and I got a package from Lily Longbean today, which I haven't opened because I haven't seen them in chat. But, um... Uh, I've not got anything from your good self yet. Right there. No, I can't. And the noise those things make. You know, better that than getting hurt by them later. Very true, very true. No complaining. Yeah, one of the looses just disappeared into the into the night's fog. Oh no, there they are. And they have seen me. They have also seen me. Alright. I am no longer seen. Still somewhat observed. Yeah, they're going after me. Seems so. I'm gonna try and make it to our backyard bunker entrance. No, that's not a euphemism. But it could be. It could be. You know, the night is young. Huh. Hey. That's pretty good, Jax. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I don't like. I don't like what you've done, but I'll admit that's pretty good. All right. So here's the question: Do you want to come to me, or do I need to come to you? Um. 
I don't know yet. I'm trying to decide if this trap is worth disabling because there's a camera right there. I'm gonna go ahead and say no, but this one in front of me is worth disabling, so I'm gonna do that. Report. Two or three hours till dawn. No incident. Recommend transfer to instrument detail. Oh yeah, so um Cat was just saying that um they expected Void Bastards to be a British borderlands in space. See also Red Dwarf. Um without the faintly smug right uh without the faintly smug writing. Ha! Huh. Sorry, not sorry. Uh uh, what they did not expect was it to turn into genuine horror. I mean, genuine horror is easily obtained, is, e is easiest achieved when your user does not expect they're going in for a horror experience, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The old bait and switch. Alright, so there's one sleeper just doing the rounds here, but we're clear to the, we're clear to the entrance. Controls are a little bit reversed when you're on the ladders. And another lockpick! Looking good! Alright, I'm coming. Oh, I remember... I, I remember that feeling of, of Gone Home being a horror game, and then, like, nothing happens. <laughs> So thank you to that unspoken guy for throwing us a follow. That is very appreciated. But also, feck me, that made me jump. Um, actually, we were talking about this yesterday, and you don't really have too many examples of it in games. But like, um, so I finished season two of The Handmaid's Tale last night, which is mm. not easygoing and is exceptional telly. And the thing that struck me, especially towards the end of it, is they film it like a horror, like a horror film, right? <laughs> sleeper there. I don't see anyone else. Ooh, uh, there's a new... There's a new thing. What do you mean a new thing? The, the, the oh, sound the, emitter balls. That's the sound mine. Uh... Yeah. Can we disable those? I forget. Snugly, what are our chances? <laughs> Jax is like, only one way to find out! Boom, okay. Uh, well, we don't got any of that. Oh, shite. Lucid. There's the real problem. And I can't walk up to it. Right. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I'm gonna try something real ballsy. Are you gonna I'm not jump? Scared. Just of course yeah. you are. life in this Martian basement. You can use the grapple to avoid getting caught. Just run through it. Oh, there's new areas. Conditioning. All right, there's a bunch of goodies in here, so I'm gonna try and see if I can get what we need to, to progress forward. But holy crud! <laughs> so, Joda, have a lovely evening. Go get some calming sleeps. Sleepwalker. Watch out for sleeper. Uh, and thank you for sticking with us. All right. I wasn't going to acknowledge it, but I do agree with Beardura. Um, there were a couple of things you threw in there, which was... I mean, that's a little bit mean to spoil that. That's not cool.
because when it comes to that, all you've really done is taken an experience so okay, you know what? Never mind. I got another trank round, so I've now got three tranquilizers. I kind of want to like step off this. Do you think I can? Uh... I mean, I probably can. Is it going to do the the Left 4 Dead thing where it spawns you somewhere and I have to get you? I have no clue. I don't know. I've never died like that. Maybe I just die as a... Oh, Snuggly says that I can. Obviously. Whether you should oh, or not. Okay, it, it, does the, it does do the left for dead thing, apparently. Okay. Beef Nuggets do. Thank you for being here. Have a good night. Do we just don't have them handy? Point. So snugly, you can't disable those like you can with the speed traps, can you? Hey, foam grenade! Oh, sweet mercy in a can! Alright, hopefully this was worth the the uh, the excursion. Upstairs, downstairs, wumbling free. I'm just kind of exploring right now. Quiet. Something noticed me. I don't know where. Oh, oh shit. We're good, we're good, we're good. Got him. Okay. Apparently, this is just a really loud place. No, dude, anytime you step on one of those pads, it lights up. Yeah. Wow. Weird. Okay. I'm not peeing my pants. You are. <laughs> All okay. Right. So, Vanderbeest, thankfully, I didn't let one go there, but it was very close. But here's a cool thing. Oh, and uh, D20002B, uh, thank you kindly. Uh, this game is exceptionally interesting. It is called the Blackout Club. And it is what would happen if you smashed uh, Thief, Left 4 Dead, and Gloomhaven together by way of Stranger Things. Um, uh, the unspoken guy gave us a little hint here, which... Um, so I guess on the on, in terms of spoilers, we don't know what we don't know in a lot of this, and I know that's very contrite. If there are things we're experiencing and there's things you can advise us on how to get through and once we encounter them, that's great. Um, as with Beef Nugget, please, please don't tell us something awesome that is going to surprise us and happen later. It's, a, it's just a polite request. Um, so what the unspoken guy was saying, so this floor that messed us up, right? If you come over here and close your eyes, you can see which are the live pads and which aren't. So we can't get through this room from this side. But it shows us which ones we can get past. Um, thankfully, uh, I had a ton of trank rounds, so that didn't end up being too messy. Uh, and Snuggly, I, I guess we will uh, we will chat with you about lore and banter later. Because, yeah, it's not as much as a blind play, but it's like... I... There's things this game has thrown at us that I wouldn't even know. It's... Oh, crap. Dude, I just saw something. What did you see? Something just jumped down. On the floor below us. You hear it? No. Holy shit. Holy shit, there's another fucking kid! There's another fucking kid! Did you tag him? He just went in the fucking- 
fucking door! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that was so weird! I keep hearing those beeps! I keep hearing those fucking beeps! That was- I must have seen him jump down or something. Jesus, Jiminy. Kess was like, after him! The kid owes me five dollars! Let's beat yeah. him up. No, no. So, you see that door? He went in there. Oh, good! <laughs> Let's not go that way. Yeah. Sorry, Noel. I'm just kinda... And Thomas said- Panicked. I panicked a little. <laughs> Yeah, I saw. I so I tagged him, and then he ran in the door and disappeared. So we've got to keep an ear open. So so we can we can go down uh, there if you want to do that. They're not evil, just hypnotized. Quick me, just a quick me. <laughs> I like how. Okay. I like how caffeine's like, yeah, glad that didn't get spoiled. And I'm like, I mean, that was exciting, but also, crap. Yeah, this just got very real. Alright. Panicked a little big. <laughs> just panicked a little big. I will, I'll be happy being quoted saying that. Let's grab the goodies. In fairness, anything I say, I will just yeah. excuse myself because English is my second language. Oh, what's your first? Uh, I spoke Spanish. I lived in Mexico for the first several years of my life. But oh, cool. also, yeah, English is my best language, however. Not to steal a quote from... Uh... From the fifth element, but I speak the two languages, which is English and very bad English. Interesting. I haven't seen that movie in ages. Oh, another Trank Dart. Yeah. Oh, there's another chest up top there. Yeah? Yeah, it might be worthwhile. I mean, considering what we're going up against now, like, I'm, I'm, I'm with you there. Tripwires. This is so tense. This we've is got, so tense. We've got bandages, that's all. Alright, well. <laughs> Kessel's like, the situation can be improved with yet more tranquilizers. Alright, well. Oh, and a feckin' speed trap on the feckin' bars up there. Cheek of it. On the bars? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay. Alright, so I'm thinking of heading through this way. Can we even get up there? I think we can. Alright. So you do you. I'm just gonna go for a quick uh I see you all now, Red Acre. That's bye bye adventure. I'm gonna disable it. Was you all? So you know what? Fuck the police. Heck the popo. We're gonna if we're gonna get ooh, ooh in here. Yes, heck the popo. -po. Alright, so fun thing. Um, you can set off uh, audio mines from a distance, which work on sleepers. Uh, currently I'm perceived, so I'm just gonna wait here for a moment, you know, hang out with you, chat, what's going on? The Unspoken says they're not bots, they're just totally ordinary people, who happen to be able to use red demonic doors of hell. Oh good. Oh great. Wonderful. There's a lucid over on the left. Well, we need to get right anyway, so... Once again, heck the popo. 
I don't think uh, that would have been quite as much of a seminal classic as its original lyrics. Um, I'm not actually um, anti-swearing as a, as a point. Uh, the reason I try not to swear when I'm streaming is I have a very colourful vocabulary. Mm, um, yeah, of course. And uh, I, I worry that if I'm weapons free on swearing, uh, who knows? No, I understand completely. Uh, there's a speed trap over there. I'm gonna disable it. You disable, I'll see what, uh, I'll see what we've got packed for lunch. It's a flashbang! So, J Crits, this is the Blackout Club. Yeah. Um, We're doing good. We're doing good. The 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 powers that be haven't been actively messing with us so far so yeah. it's been a little easier i've been i've been coping poorly <laughs> oh yeah the other thing i've been saying to people that i wholeheartedly recommend is if you put So there's a bit of a wind-up, we can just run through it. I've got foam. As do I. Oh fuck. Stalker photo! Find that little shit! Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Wait. The stalker just saw us, and he ran this way. Wait, is he trying to get away from us, or is... Yeah, he's trying to get away from us to alert the shape of where we are. I just, I only saw him run this way. I don't know where else he. Oh fuck. Right, either way, I'm sticking with you. The camera just rotates between the different areas, so. There he is. Oh. There he is. Uh, Where? Guy down. Find us. Got him. All right. I got you, motherfucker. You down. Sorry. You down. <laughs> All right. What do we do? Just knock him out? I don't know. Oh, He's already captured. Get out of the way, though. Okay. <sighs> okay. What do we do? I, I, I I've never held a ch I've never held a child hostage before. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm happy to say that. All right. Snuggly says we're done. Okay, yeah. I think that's over. Alright. Alright. Alright, watch out for this guy, though. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Let's go get our loot. Yeah, it is a tattletale. So. Okay. Got him. He's a child. We're other children. This isn't... This isn't... Uh... What's it called? The, the book with all the kids and they go wild. <laughs> Um, oh, you know the book. Is he lucid? Yes, it worked. <laughs> wow, that per that person is dead. That person straight up murdered. No, it's fine. It's fine. First rule of the Blackout Club: is not dead. Yet. <laughs> Lord of the Flies. Yes. It's not dead. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Non-lethal takedown! Okay... That part's done. Now what? Good. And now we, uh... Drone's topside, right? I... maybe? No? Is it up there? Well, behind you. Quiet! Sleep! Good. So I just stopped to, like, scratch my eye for a second there. Not allowed, Will. Uh, Catros is like, how does it feel, Will, to be a MURDERER?! I don't know what you're talking about. That was a non-lethal takedown. Sleeping right. people. Yeah, it looks like we have to go up then. J. Cripps is asking who made this game. Heroes and villains. Okay. The whole fucking John! Just sneaks into the room and just goes, Pax hype! Ah. 
Uh, sorry, uh, question games. They're doing a marvellous job. So that's real interesting, because I was wondering, like, what the other kids, the kids' gameplay would be like in this, right? Hmm. But yeah, it's, it's their job to essentially tell on us. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna try and okay, so look, we're not we're not going that way. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I've got. Well, that's. I don't think that's the right way to go anyway. Okay, I got one uh, track round. Thing is, I'm still air quotes seen, and I don't know if that's a comment on my personal style choice or what have you, or because I just dropped a lucid dreamer on their head from several stories. Yeah, you're you're noticed because you murdered somebody. Hey, hey. I mean, if anything, gravity was the true killer here. And let's be honest, like, children's rules apply, right? Oh, free train dog. Wait for that camera. Which would be very smart. Sorry, I don't know where that yawn came from. Uh, Astral Moon says, when you play games, oh, sorry, uh, when you play games, you see yourself as chaotic, lawful, or neutral? That is Hold a up. question I would, oh, this oh, one. Yeah. Let's go, Stupid. let's go straight. Yeah, we can get out through here. Alright, we're good. Uh, I've got lockpicks so I can get us, oh, there's a sound. Oh, yeah. I've got foam, I can disable them. Alright, so first one is... Toast. Alright. Sleepwalker. You are on a clipping spree. There's so many good ones. Oh no, Jax, that's horrible. Like, that guy is having like a, a dream of falling and then actually stacks it. No, uh, Kyle, you were spot on. It is uh, topside, so I'm glad I didn't I try and sneak us through some like hell, hell basement. Yeah, the, like the airway <laughs> where we wanted to go <laughs> originally. No, this is, this is the correct move. <laughs> I think he's gonna wake up with more of a broken neck instead of a headache. Yeah. Like twitching limbs. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Everything's fine. We're fine here. So How are you okay. all? Shackles says, nah, he's gonna wake up in the hospital. Holy like fuck. Holy fuck. Talk. Holy fuck. Talk to me here. Sorry. It's just. Somebody walking Fly. towards me. <laughs> okay. Good plan. Occasionally I have good ideas. I think he wants to make some money. Hope so. Clicking. Jesus Christ, sideways. <laughs> so, who was that? That was J Crips being merciless. J Crips, thank you for gifting a sub to the actor, to that unspoken guy. Uh, to unspoken, it's lovely to have you with. To J Crips, that's fucking lovely of you. Catros, like, you're awake now, Will? Oh, yeah, I'm awake. Alright, we're gonna get up onto the roof. Wait a second. If this takes place in the 80s, then how come they've got cell phones? And why are they small? And how can they record video? Wait a second. This isn't the 80s at all.
It's the Tenties. Oh, got it. It's a term I have now heard and cannot unhear. These kids can jump. Like I just made, I just did all to the roof. I'm there now. FML, uh, Lasbo, thank you kindly for following. How you doing up there? Uh, I'm fine. I was, I was perceived. Uh, I can't see by who. Should Follow the there. drone. Pick up the loose papers. Oh, right. I'm just gonna let the drone do what it's gonna do. Remember the chorus binder. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Hello. Do you want to make more money? Of course you do. Discover the quick, easy ways to love fame and good health with our free gift to you. With our handy dandy brochure, you will learn. Oh shit! Oh shit! Why did it see me? It is noticing me too much! It is right behind me! Alright, I love you dude. I'll see you later. <laughs> Please stop perceiving me. Question, can... Do a little fly over. Can the shape see me... See my drone? I don't know. Maybe? Uh, Catchoffs is like Rip Kyle. Ah, uh, yes. I remember Kyle as if it were only yesterday. Please stop perceiving me! It's like I can hear his voice on the wind. I don't think it can climb. I don't think so either. Congratulations, you live on the roof now. Well done. I'm sure you're fine. I'm not fine. I'm sure you're fine. I'm certainly not fine. <sighs> It can definitely climb, by the way. Alright, I'm gonna try and be your eye in the sky. It is really close to me. I wish it would leave me alone. Please stop perceiving me. Yeah, from what I can tell, it's in the back garden out around the back. Theodora's like, if zombie apocalypse, note, don't depend on Will. I'm hurt and offended. I'm gonna get, Kyle's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get him back after this. I'm gonna continue. I can see where the other piece of paper is. We're doing fine. Oh, Caffeine would like, thought we learned this in the Miscreated. Uh, so we got real into a daisy styly game called the Miscreated. It's real good. Oh. Quiet. Fuck! Fuck me! <laughs> What's going on? Carl, talk to me! It is right behind me! Like, one of the doors opened nearby. Oh, wow, yeah, we can see it. It is behind me! Alright. It knows where I am! If it's gonna get you, try. And I think I think if you play dead, I think if you play dead, it doesn't, it can't tell the difference. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that's true. It is slowly making its way across the, the park to you. I know. <laughs> I'm doing as much as I can before I get consumed. And I'm disabling these speed traps for the better. Thank you, because it is slowly walking around the back of the house behind you. Oh, it seems to have chilled out. Nope, it okay. still sees me. Nope, nope, there <laughs> it is. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's coming. 
Oh lord, he coming! <laughs> oh, aren't you coming? So John Bacon and people who have just joined us, what, oh friends? Blackout Club, it's happening. Let's remember, if you're in the club and you see a ghost, go ahead, it's a ghost. I don't know where he is. I don't either. He's still <laughs> coming, you know? <laughs> subway 100, Subway 100, bonus 20, spooky bitch. Oh shit! Oh shit! He's behind me! Yes, spooky The door bit. opened up! Goodbye! <laughs> oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh, he coming. I know. Will, I know. <laughs> he coming! Oh lord, he coming! Oh. Will, are you doing the mission? He gone. Will, are you doing the mission? Uh, I probably should, shouldn't I? Yes! Fine. I guess I'm gonna keep it distracted. Yes, it's not important to have goals. Alright. Two track rounds. And no sense of self. Here we go! So Snuggly is saying that you're shape bait. Legit pro strategy. Huh. Huh. I see it in the distance. I think. Alright, it, it is coming for you. So. Not in a fun way. Oh god! <laughs> Why? Whoever that spooky anonymous cheerer was, thank you! Wait, no, what's that other thing? I'm... I'm the spooky snack, apparently. That is how Please I describe stop. you at Halloween. Parkour, parkour. Parkour, parkour. Oh. I did it. Oh, shit. oh, we, we can just leave? Yeah. I'm gonna do that! Oh god, it's not the it's not the close entrance, it's the one on the outside of town. It's alright. We've got all the toys and tools to make it happen. Except Will who's accidentally got himself too high. Alright, I'm with you. Alright. It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna make it. <sighs> Two seconds. <sighs> oh, uh, bad guy down. There's a lucid in the house, don't feck around. <sighs> what are those? I can't see. I don't know, but they feck up our vision, we have to go round. Wrong, but don't All right, running time, dude. Running time. Running time, indeed. Can you make it? Maybe. God, I hope so. I don't have yes, a camera. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Come on. Get a fucking cabin. Yes. Fucking oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my god. That was oh. top tier. Top tier. Oh. Unspoken's calling that uh, an absolute success. I'll take it. Oh. Nobody got captured. We managed to nab our stalker. Got a stalker. Avoided the shape. We did it. Now we need to do is have a very, very unsettling dream. And then, uh, Kyle, if you want a, a quick break, I need to go get some water. Yeah, I think a break would do good. My right. back is really tense. Right? <laughs> like, I just need to stand up in a second. I can see why people do this with standing desks, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, let's have a listen to this dream. I, uh... 
I remembered that Dance Rose wanted to hear another song. Maybe something that they could dance to. Well, I found this song called Dance Dance. Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> I like where your head's at, Kitty. Would you want to send me another? Maybe something you wrote? I'll send you something nice. Theodora suggesting standing desks with buckets underneath. <laughs> Jeez. So I wonder if letting the voice. Oh, Christ! Subway 200 bonus 20 Stranger Danger. Yeah, right? Exceptionally Stranger Danger. Do some therapy. Some, some, some uh, shop therapy. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I am only a little bit of candy away from getting myself a, uh, uh, a new hairdo. I need, a, I need another level before I can get off the grid. Tragic. I don't have any accessories. I have none available to me either. Uh, Snuggly saying, go ahead and click make sacrifice. There's a few menu options ahead of actually sacrificing. Okay. Well, what I might do, uh, Snuggly, is just in case. Kyle. Hmm. I just. You. You. You see this, right? Yeah. The spooky ass ring binder here by the door. You you see this, right? I'm gonna touch it. Stalker dossier. You have received a stalker dossier. A stalker dossier can be used to invade another game and work against other players. By using the dossier in the stalker van, you'll be opting into the stalker game mode and stalkers will be able to invade games you host in the future. If you never invade anyone, you'll be opting out of the game up, and games you host will not be invaded in the future. Neat! <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's a little bit like Dark Souls. Really want to go there? So we have to opt in for the Stalkers. And it's not... So the Stalkers aren't PvP, because the Stalkers aren't... They don't actively attack you. The Stalkers try and take a picture of you and tell mm -hmm. the, the shapes and stuff where you are. So apparently you can sacrifice to different voices. Oh. Now one of the one of the dreams that I just experienced, and I'm sure you experienced the same one, uh, was laugh last. Was that right? Uh, one, I've had a laugh last dream, but I don't know if that was. Okay. One. That was one of my recent ones. So if you go to sacrifice your body, um. You can sacrifice the laugh last in her teeth. The I dare speak as one. Die for you. The measure cuts. Seed the grudge. You got all kinds of options. Oh, good. All right, I think this is what um, uh, Snuggly was telling me about. Because I was a little worried that I might accidentally sacrifice myself, which is why I didn't have a look at it. Mm -hmm. Snuggly says you can read quotes from each of their followers too. That's fucking yeah. great. Yeah. So, for example, Laugh Last, it's like, it got me arrested for publishing intimate photos of cops. <laughs> but one of my subjects was the arresting officer. So the judge threw the case out. Who laughed last there? Snuggly says their favorite is the measured cuts. Tell us about measured me cuts. The measure cuts reads. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna put my narrating voice on. <clears throat> I remember bawling like a baby, nose running, you know, screaming something like, "No such thing as ghosts or demons." 
You're just stupid noises in my stupid head. Then one of them said, I agree. Wow. Um, Unspoken Guy is asking about Dance For Us. Because Dance For Us was, I think, the last one we got. Yeah. Uh, Dance For Us reads, I guess it wants thrills. Woke up still buzzed, or eyes like black holes. Bite marks all over me. But yo, I had like two grand in my gym shorts. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Catro says ASMR scene. Uh, Jackson, like, welcome to Poetry Slam. <laughs> oh, but Snuggly says the yeah. important one is Speaker's One. Could you do that one for us, please? Um, I imagine this is the one that is most centered around the shape. So it says, they're the enemy. If I do this, I can't tell the club. I can't tell anyone. And I imagine that's, uh, that's where the stalker comes into, into the lore. So the weird message we got when we started this session... That was one of the other gods essentially negotiating with us. Interesting. Sorry, I should say entities. Yeah. Because we don't know. <laughs> well done, Kyle. Well done. Wow. Yeah, Jax is Wow, Snuggly. Yeah, that's, that's a low blow. They should be very familiar with you. Is that a possession chip? You have spent a lot of time with them. Okay, that is true. Uh, and Jax was saying, this is really setting the mood. Thanks. I need to turn the lights on now. I should, uh... You know it'd be funny if, uh... Oh. No, it's fine. I was gonna say... I, uh... You should get a team of players. And you should be as quiet as possible. And then I should read horror. No. While that's, you play. That's terrifying. <laughs> like, the, the peeps already have a, a very good way of messing with us a whole bunch. Right. The old gods demand prank calls. Nope, 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 nope. So we're at level 5. Level 12 is where we unlock the last major section. Oh. But it's we're slowly unlocking bits of the underground. It's just the above ground. Mm-hmm. Back your cans! Okay, and the Blackout Club guy tells us a little bit about. Fuck me! <laughs> Subway 200 bonus 20, hey, is your refrigerator running? Why do you ask, DX man? Why do you ask? Fuck me! All it right. isn't actually, so thank you. Yeah, so. It doesn't tell you what sins and foes are. Okay, so if you if you turn over to the right here. Yeah. Oh, this is the become the stalker. Yeah. Now, do we want to do a round of that to kind of uh, open it up? I think we can only. I think it's is it like solo only? Oh, feck! It might be. You must leave a current session to play a stalker. Yeah. The thing is, I wanna—I I mean, I wanna open the game up for it because I think that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what—I can—I uh, can take a short break from playing and just uh, and just watch you as you go. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Uh, Snuggly yeah. would also like everyone to know that um, just to cut the subtlety a little bit, Speakers One was the person we spoke to in the first session. Oh. Because they didn't speak to us through audio, they spoke to us through text. Mm-hmm. So, 
Anyway, I'm going to try being a stalker for a mission. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave the session. Uh, and if you want to go grab um, a cup of tea, we can... Yeah. All right, so I, wanna, I need to quit current session. Yeah, tea break myself, so I'll yeah. be right back. You go do a thing. We'll, we'll go creep on someone else's game. Excellent. Need me. I'm there. I'm there. Okay, how to play. Information on the basics of the club and the handbook is located. Alright, I know what I'm doing. Alright, so customized appearance. It says I must record, report, and stop them. Uh, Alright, I have to record them. The other kids say uh, they will hurt my family if I don't record them, they will stop it for me. Speakers 1 promises not to hurt them. I'm helping my family. Oh, good. Jack Sculpt with Sudden Monster Factory. Alright, objectives. Invade a random mission. By choosing to invade a mission, you are opting into the stalker mode. This means that games you host in the future will be open to invasion. If you choose do not invade, you are opting out. Alright, let's do it. Well, heck, I'll uh, I'll chat with your lovely selves until uh, Kyle comes back. And if there's no uh, if there's no missions I can invade, then we can't do anything right now. So we'll just roll from there, yo. No missions at this time. Uh, all right, Snugly and Unspoken are saying we should do the um, That we should do the prologue real quick. So I'm going to do that. Um, because it was one thing that people were very surprised. Alright, so. Recording. Where was it? Book region. Darn it. Alright, so red book. Oh, play the prologue. Here we go. Alright, so let's set the scene a little bit. At least a little. I, I think. Hi, out there. It's it's Bells, I Isabella. If you've done your homework, you probably know I live in the radio quiet zone. We have no cell signal here, no internet, nothing. So no one knows what's happening to us. At night, our town ch it changes. We like wake up in the woods or on train tracks. No idea how we got there. If you tell an adult, they just laugh it off, and most folks my age are, well, they're cowards. But, so last night, I set up a hidden camera, and I finally got proof. Stuff the world needs to see. The video's all on this thumb drive, and tomorrow, I'm gonna take Mom's car and sneak it far enough out of town to finally get online. To reach you. When you see this, come to Red Acre. Help us. Please. Alright, I'm here. Um, Alrighty. Thank you. We uh, we can't do stalker mode because there are no games to stalk. So we're going to oh. do the prologue very quickly. Wait, that looks like the okay. That looks like a desktop from the Magic Circle. Wait, is this related to the team that did the Magic Circle? No. They're the same team? Holy yeah, crap, so. no wonder this is so good. <laughs> it all makes fucking sense now. All right, grab my phone. Local only, fantastic. Like I want to call anyone in this town. Contacts, ma'am, dead. All right, so at least it explains why it is that we're not just like hightailing it right out of here. High five. High five machine. Nice. Uh, Doki. Alright, kids, lights out. Uh, 
have unseen places. <clears throat> Some zero and flower. Who's the tub running? Uh, Reconnect says, is there a way to uh, re-listen to the response of the prayer you made? I So Reconnect, we haven't gotten to the point of being able to make a prayer yet. So we are way behind you. Alright, the prisoner's cinema. Prism Center is a phenomenon reported by prisoners confined to dark cells and others kept in darkness, voluntarily or not, for long periods of time. It has been reported of truck drivers, pilots, uh, practitioners of intense uh, meditation, astronauts, or individuals who have been exposed to certain types of radiation. Uh, the cinema consists of a light show of various colors that appears out of the darkness. The light has a form, but those that have seen it find it difficult to describe. Sometimes the cinema lights resolve into human or other figures. Okay, so it seems that, Kyle, at some point we may have a chance to commune with some of the creatures and that mm. you can get a response. Now, Reconnect, I am sorry you didn't get a recording of yours, but the fact is that's an incredible experience that you will be able to tell people about over a pint or otherwise pretty much for the rest of your gaming career. To give me some serious gone home vibes, you know what I'm saying? So Snuggly saying they still haven't gotten one. Well, that's one of the one of the things with this is that you, if I was creating a game like this, I would leave a certain amount of. Oh, sorry. I found it. Sorry, I can't talk on the phone. Isabella, it's us. We called to tell yeah, you. Yeah, she talks to us. We called to tell you we're going to be home late. Why should I care? I'm in jail. Time is meaningless. <laughs> Whose fault is that? It wasn't trespassing. Mom works up there. Despite the fact that they're obvious aliens. Oh, yes. And my alien masters are telling me to order another drink. Waiter! You're lucky she didn't get fired for what you did. What? Let's just go to... You guys are breaking up. <laughs> breaking up? That's... Your mother and I are fine. <laughs> yeah. You are the only one. But not for long. You're about to meet someone as special as you are. Just close your eyes. And you'll see. Uh huh. Sure. Just That's drink creepy. up, come home, and hide the car keys in the same place as always. Yep. Okay, I haven't gotten the close the eyes bit. Oh no, sorry, uh, Stugly. I didn't mean that as a counter. It was more just like um, if I was part of the dev team on this one. Like on the one hand, the amount of work to to give an experience like this is not small I'm so glad they're doing it but the other thing is that I'd, I'd want to keep it vague or oh. Kyle Kyle mm. you watching yeah. this yeah I am all right watch what happens to my POV as we go down these stairs all right it's real subtle see it oh yeah okay yep Uh, also, friends, if you've not played um, uh, the Magic Circle, it is the precursor. Well, it's not the precursor to this game. It's the game the team made before this, and it is one of the it's one of the masterworks of gaming. Especially if you've worked in the games industry, it'll hit you even twice as hard.
Find a photo of Dad, close eyes. Find a photo of Mum, close eyes. It wakes. Atmosphere building. I can see now, Snuggly, why you and the team wanted. Uh, it's not the team. You and uh, the crew wanted me to, to show everybody this. This is feckin' great. Carl, is that you? Yeah, I made a. I have some hummus, so I made a noise. I should have said no, but. Why would I lie to you, Will? Oh, he's just hanging out there. Just hmm. hanging out. I saw the shadow kind of blinking in and out, and I was like, oh, let's have a... Oh, good. Right. Photo of mine. <clears throat> Close eyes. And your mind is not your own. What? Stolen is your it sleep. Is a dance or a kind of sign? Yet your body remembers. Proceed to jump. <gasps> Press B to jump. Press B to jump. What? Whoa! We shall... Together. What's the Who's worst that? Christmas tree I've ever seen? Who's that? The worst. Uh, Dad was in. You'll notice that the shape doesn't want a picture of the cat, which is a hot load of BS. What a coward. Yeah. Pet the cat, you coward. These large open office rooms with nothing else going on. It ain't dad. Uh, they so tore out that, so much. It's too really much sad. cement. The body knows God, it's been taken. It kills. Hear it now. Take it back. Theodora says, uh, so packed with unknown demon to make you resilient to sleepwalky powers. Apparently so. Huh. Oh! Oh, cool! Murder Christmas! My favorite holiday! Uh, isn't it everyone's? I remember running. It is coming a red for you. Door and a name. Speak as one. Now, is this um, Ashley Birch doing the voice? Because I know they did work for. Oh! Oh, good. Oh, good. It's every surface. <laughs> Serge Sarge Tankian is, was here. <laughs> Did I even record? Okay. It's still. <laughs> hide, I gotta hide. C closet, bathroom, something with a door. What's happening? Someone's in the house. What? Baby, I can't hear you. Speak up, okay? Someone's in the house. Ah! <gasps> oh, good. Oh, good. Right, follow the dirt trip or the cult. Dirt trail. Close your eyes to sh see the shame. So we can hide from shapes. Okay. Or 
or is this just uh, the mystical magical powers of uh, preview? Uh, the prologue. Well, it's behind you. Freaking god darn it. It's gotta come through that feckin' door if it wants me. Oh good. Oh good. Oh good. Oh. Ah, who's trying to be a clever boy? I am so smart. Okay, so the unspoken guy says you can hide from a shape in game, but if anyone sees you at all, he knows. Hmm. Reconnect, so I run for the basement. I have to. I'm suddenly reminded of the uh, the underrated Beastie Boys track Crawl Space. Hmm. Right. A deep cut if there ever was one. Sorry, dude. A deep cut if there ever was one. Uh, you know me. I'm I'm only dropping the hottest hottest takes. <laughs> and I do want to say. logged on to server. Interesting. A message. The Blackout Club, they are messing with your mind, making your eyes lie to you. Close them to see our trial. Oh, your current objective is always visible in the top right of the screen. Alright, so we just follow the, follow the maze through. Okay. What? This, this is my house? They're recording me. Wow, the Blackout Club's been putting the hours in. Oh, Reconnect says, Seed the Grudge is the one they're following. So, wait a second, so even though there are some evil shenanigans going down, you've all chosen different deities to work for. Heck, I should choose something different from you lot. So those of you that have pledged to a, a creature, what have you chosen? Um, so... That unspoken guy says I'm more of the in her teeth guy. In her teeth is unnecessarily horny. Okay, Mr. Voice in my head. We need to talk. I'm guessing that super fun, not at all traumatizing blackout dream means you're still here listening. Oh, that's that's just that's just the way it feels to me. Right? I hope whispering counts. Here it goes. First, thanks for the warning. I'm guessing you saw him coming. You seem to know. 
Oh, this is not at all a bad idea. Dude, uh, check out the fucking chords again. The ones they were playing, like, the bass guitar strings on. Hmm. How far down does this go? See, now I know this is made by the same people who made the magic circle, like... Mm -hmm. That's a that's a feckin' game changer in a heart. <laughs> All right, that's a sleeper. A sleeper, right? So it's blind, but it can probably hear me right now. Oh, Snuggly says that's the song. While the song sucks. I mean, I thought the song's no. earlier stuff was much better. Assessed. Like, is, I don't know, is that no, controversial to say? Suddenly... No, I wouldn't say so, but I mean, there's no accounting for bad taste from these guys. Possession on a spectrum? Yeah, I mean, the unspoken guy's got a point. The song has kind of sold out now, it's got a bit popular. Yeah. believe how much there is to this game, you know? I'm glad, yes, I, in a way, I'm glad we jumped questions. straight it's in, because kind of ignorance did make those first few sessions really good. Ass. It's my body, For sure. I need to know where it's been. But it's interesting because um, uh, the light keeps us safe went with a similar kind of opening, but instead of devolving into a, um, sorry, not devolving, instead of um, opening up into a multiplayer experience, it opened up into kind of like an open world survival game. There is a lot to this prologue. I can wee. Thank you, unspoken guy. The Adora with Alexa, play the sounds of silence. <laughs> I actually, I have actually managed to get some people with uh, the good old Africa by you Toto. Present? How did it's a powerful you move. Down here? Wait, does that mean that I've been down here before? Open your eyes. Open here. Approach a sleeper from behind. Uh, hold LT to jump on a sleeper's back. Make sure to keep holding down and don't let go early. Once you grab them, you can ride them out. The Wait, try it now. To the song. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so we got the lock picks that we needed to go back. Oh look, spooky ass red door. Love it. Great, brilliant, wonderful. Um, so to Dreamer says, so I thought this would be a single-player narrative-driven survival game, but it's actually a multiplayer thing. It is. It's I'm a... sure I can climb something. Dad still calls me Spider Monkey. Up and around. The teachings of Vanilla Ice are indeed still notable. Ah, oh, there's a. Yeah, I mean, um, so to Dreamer, the crux of this game is multiplayer co-op. Like, with a focus on, like, stealth and, um, stealth and avoidance rather than on combat. The idea being is that you never know who the sleepers are. They could be your father, your mother, your uncle, your aunt, they could be someone you know, maybe someone you don't. So one of the few rules of the Blackout Club is... Chang Dart, Chang Grenade. One of the few rules of the Blackout Club is... What the shit is this? stuff. We use this stuff. Soft landings, quiets your steps. I think it even comes up machines. Aha! So you know how I keep busting my ankles open like an idiot? Hmm. That's how we don't bust our ankles open. Provided we even have foam. Provided we have foam. It's been liberal with the around. Hooray! Body not 
I've discovered. What's this? Creepy room. Recording. Gathering evidence is important. One one three eight. Yo. Thank you, Jackal. Thank you, Jax. on some maps it's always weird where the steps are telling us to go snuggly saying that like foam is like the best uh, the best piece of kit in the game I wouldn't agree with that Jax with 6969 Actually, unspoken guy, why isn't the password 1377? There's some writing on the walls. The lucid has what you need. Alright, so avoid being lit up and go from there. Ah, uh, Snuggly, it should be 0451. I love how that is in itself now a, a designation of game. Uh, Kyle, you know, like, meaning, like, um, all of the, the looking glass and styly games. <laughs> hey, what do you play? DJ! You notice how their head shifts? That makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah, mine does that too. Well, just the general, like, wobbling in the, in the reel. Yeah. I guess I hadn't noticed it, you know, it's it's usually like GDC or PAX or something, I've had a lot of coffee, I'm I'm mildly vibrating between like two different locations. Mm-hmm. Sorry Lucid, not today! game dude like again um, the magic circle is a phenomenal piece of work and it doesn't surprise me that they can create something that's good um, I might have to replay that so uh, usually one of the things I do at Christmas uh, Kyle is I do a replay of one of the Half-Life games mm -hmm. I just like grab a cup of you know Get a thermos of coffee, sit down and play through. Like, I've done like original Half Life, Source, Half Life 2, all of those. Um, for this year, I'm thinking of doing like, not like a greatest hits, but like playing through the Magic Circle again, playing through um, uh, One Shot again. You know, mm -hmm. all those great little like games you can do in an afternoon. Probably won't do Rain World again because that game hurts me and then makes me cry. <laughs> but like in a way that I apparently volunteer for. Yes! Right. <laughs> Come on, you big doom harp, let's do this. Jump here. Alright. Well, I see no way this is going badly. Just like we practiced at the hideout. Done and done. Uh, so that ledge grab was how I managed to keep um, 
You know, we kept dropping down to the box on top of the awnings. That's how I mm. kept managing to do that. Yeah. Yeah, Jax, I practiced that. And so I'm getting some shade here. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't it? There's no like death from above or anything in this, is there? No. I don't think so anyway. Death from above! <laughs> Okay, we got oh, that's better. Okay. Still think I should have been able to crush that person with my body weight. It only seems like the right thing to do. Actually, Carl, this is Axe was wrong. It's not a maze, it's it's an instrument. Hmm. So this is why they've been like dramming on some feckin' hole. Oh. A disguise? What, that that mask yodi thing? How am I gonna see? You know what? Don't tell me. Need disguise. Find a changing room. Deity. Stop that incessant clicking! Jesus Christ, J Post! <laughs> Sorry, Kyle, the thing I was going to ask your opinion on before. J Post scared the crap out of me! Thank you for gifting a sub to reconnect, that's very kind of you. Um, and reconnect, enjoy your little friend I think, but you're more than welcome. Um, so, uh, what I was going to ask you is. Perception of value of art based on its creator. It's something mm -hmm. that I've been pondering a lot recently because we've been playing um, the club by Crows, 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 which by all mm -hmm. intentions looks like a like a meme itch.io game, but because yeah. we know it's created by a developer who specialises in really clever experiences, um, we gave it more than the time of day. Now I know mm -hmm. this game is made by the team that did the Magic Circle. That's very much kind of given me an aha moment, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, as someone who uh, delves into more than just a couple of different like art mediums. Right. Oh god. Okay, here we go. One size mm -hmm. sleepwalker coming through. I think you cut out for a second. Oh, no, there's no uh, uh, as a sleepwalker you can only see in the dark. Hmm. So I have to follow the follow the instructions lest I die. Sorry. Gotcha. Oh, Rilu, what old friend? We were chatting about um, uh, we we're chatting about special effect earlier. So, oh yeah, uh, lurk away. It is all good. Um, sorry. So I guess my question was, um, why do you think it is that, especially with a medium where from project to project things can change so drastically, we still infer so much? Uh, value based on prior art. 
like gone in the days of the 90s where one game was always a sequel built on the back of the last one, right? Mm-hmm. Like these days, game projects are their are their own beast wholeheartedly. Oh, hang on. It says wait for the bridge. Um I don't think there's any one answer to that question. And in saying that, I don't think there's any right answer for it, but there would probably be a lot of wrong answers for that. Okay. Um, I, I don't have one. Um, it's yeah, just something that's it, been on my mind a lot. No, it's fine to not have an answer for that. Oh, Christ! It's, it's, it's a, it's a very die. complex question. It's better if you leave. Uh, with a lot of... No, no, no. With a lot of factors. Gonna do the running thing now. So... I mean, it's part in emotional investment. Like, sometimes... And... So say you have a good experience with a piece of art. You're emotionally invested in that specific piece of art. Yeah. So whenever you have that association and then there's, I guess, something of a repeat performance, um, whether it's another game or a sequel, etc., you already have a prefabrication of an emotional investment. Okay. Because I got a lot of um, But but yeah, it's uh, but the acknowledgement that things can and inevitably will change. Um, usually, if it's by a team, you know, of develop uh, a developer that's uh, more than one person, of course, um, due to the nature of life experience, due to uh, the progression of time itself. Uh, emerging technologies, things like that, like we're always going to have evolving experiences, um, and as a cherry on top of all of that, um, why would you want to have the same experience again, like in a sequel of you know whatever the experience is, like say like you have an album, like. Why would you want more of the same thing from an artist? Yeah. Instead of like seeing how maybe they're perceiving the world now, like, um, or what kind of life experiences they had after the fact. Yeah. No, you know. I think that's real cool. It's just yeah, the reason they've got why different stories to tell. An interesting thing in games is that this, as a piece of art, is so drastically different. Then um, uh, this is so drastically different than no, good. Um, the, than the than the magic circle. Oh god, yeah. The magic circle yeah. is kind of like a little bit meta narrative, little bit like super in depth video gaming thing. Yeah. That's the hideout. Dax, Gwen. Should have known. She almost made it. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so the, the the Blackout Club and the Magic Circle are drastically different. And the Dracula, um, the Magic Circle... was lost when it took her. Oh, wait, there's more. When they took her. And even if she's still alive... She is alive. And when we find her, she'll be so touched by your black armband, Gwen. I'm saying she'd want us to get proof of our own. Video oh. evidence. Bells acted alone because, because we were too scared. This time, we do it together. They can't make us all disappear. Dax, I want to find her too. But unless we do more, like expose these guys, it'll just, this, this town. 
these people without making a sound. Our sh shitty friendship is all we have. Uh, speaking of, hey, you. Hmm? You get the blackouts too, right? Well, that means you're in. Even though we supposedly investigate monsters and you eat like one. <laughs> so, I feel while very we get cold more right snacks, now. you pick a mission. That way, if we all die tonight, we'll blame you. Have fun. Don't <laughs> worry. We'll be back soon. And they were never seen again. The end. Was that a scene enemy eating a crab? Okie dokie. So Kyle, I am just going to go grab some water very quickly and then return. Um, sure. But yeah, sorry to have that point kind of like, well not point, not that, that banter bit mildly destroyed by how brilliant the prologue was. No, but of course. The magic circle... It was, it was interesting to watch. <laughs> oh yeah. The magic circle um, understands what it is to play games and what it is to create them and uses both of those to create a narrative. Like, at first you think it's just going to be a humorous jab at like um, basically Richard Garriott, you know, mm -hmm. the, the would-be alter, his 20-year epic, the Kickstarter to refund it, the super fan to revitalize it, the jaded yeah. veteran- OH! Mm. To reconnect, thank you kindly for the follow, also, oh dear lord! I'm gonna go get some water. Uh, Kyle, do you mind if I leave you with these lovely folks? I don't know, do they mind if they're left with me? <laughs> it's funny that they think they have a choice. <laughs> Welcome to the Blackout Club. All right, I'll be back in just a second, friend. Uh, go, go. Water. Will needs water. <laughs> Robin, there have been so many. Uh, I've been surrounded by Watchmen references recently. I don't even know what to do with that. So here we are. Again. How's everyone doing? How was your day? Tell me. But when did you go to bed? It's Chacal. Start feeling better. Soup is good. What kind of soup are you eating? New England clam chowder. Uh, make sure to avoid stuff with a lot of dairy because there's a lot of bacteria and it might make you more sick. The possibility is low. But it's not good for you. How many blankets you got? You need more blankets, Beadora? I don't know. I'm sleepy too. It's only seven here. So I'm just like, what is my life? It's not even 7, it's I don't know what IP tables is. Yeah, that's right. Um, for anyone listening, and uh, 
with an Epic Games Store account, um, you can get six different Batman games for free. And that's all three Lego Batman games. And then uh, Arkham Asylum, uh, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight. Well, Theodora, um, I hope that you can get some rest soon. I know that it's super miserable trying to rest. You're sick. Um, I hope that uh, you're taking your medicine too. That's important. Sorry for the There wait. he is. How goes it? The lad. All right. So I'm gonna just quickly jump out of this. Uh, so I'm gonna bounce it, start a new lobby, just see if that uh, pops us up on anyone's radar. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. And let us continue. Buttons. Oh, have you tried out the new um, uh, Steam interface yet? Uh, I have not, no. Not at any length. It's real cool. I mean, it's stuff, not to be a jerk, it's stuff they probably should have done a while back, but it's nice to see them actually changing some stuff. The The Steam Lab has helped a whole bunch, mm -hmm. and... I can't help but think that, like, if it wasn't for Epic putting an inordinate amount of pressure on them, we wouldn't have seen these changes. That's another story. Mm -hmm. All right, you That's should have an invite from me, good stare. And then, I sure do. Uh, did you make it to level five? Have you got new cool powers? Are we ready uh, for some violence? I am level five. I don't have new powers because I need another level to get the next one. Thank you, John. I forgot to get water today. And it turns out coffee is not. Holy shit! Is... Did you just bring me the Infinite Coffee as well? Okay. So, Kyle, before you consider murdering me, I want you mm -hmm. to see this is the pitcher of water I've just been given. I will be staying hydrated. This is good. Yes, you will. A good lad. This is the thing of coffee I've just been given. Which I'm struggling to lift with one arm. Well, good. That's about how much water you need. <laughs> Welcome to the party, pals. We are continuing with the Blackout Club. Dude, there's so much this game we haven't seen as well. And right? the thing that I really respect is it would be so easy for them to front load all of the cool. Like, I guess one of the reasons why this game's been so slow to get traction is that unless you put in, like, so let's say we played five, we played four or five hours last time. Mm -hmm. With the prologue, we say we played about four hours today, right? So yeah. we've like nearly ten hours into this game, and we're seeing like the, we're seeing the stalker, we're seeing the, I mean it's not even PvP, but it's like, it with with combative elements. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh sweet mercy. Um. Yeah, that thing where water tastes amazing and you know you're hydra uh, dehydrated. <laughs> like, this game is exceptional. Uh, that unspoken guy says after uh, 50 hours in the game, they found something new. Mm -hmm. And Snuggly's saying there's so much that we haven't seen, we haven't heard, and it changes almost daily. Mm -hmm. Kyle, we're going to need to do another session after... 
Yeah, yeah, I'm down. After TwitchCon. Are you doing TwitchCon? I am not, unfortunately. I mean, on the one hand, I'm sad because we won't get to hang out. On the other, yeah. But, are you ready for another mission? That's the important part. Yeah, um, but I do believe this is going to be my last one for the day. Okay, that is understandable, dear sir. But, let's go. But yeah, it's just that point of like, they've all... <laughs> They've chosen to go for good pacing rather than kind of like blow the doors off. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Unspoken saying that there's always a new fancy plot beat oh, to talk about. Like, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. If you guys need me, I'm there. Because we've had it a lot with, uh, not to draw immediate comparisons, but with Night Team 4. We've had a lot of comparisons with that, of the whole idea of, like, evolving storyline uh, almost in an ARG-style format. But... This is fucking brilliant. Alright. Mm. So, okay. Focus, guys. New mission. Alright, poster time. Poster time. Oh, and there's a Lucid right off the bat. You see that Lucid? <laughs> they ain't fucking around today. No, they're not. There are there are zero effects being distributed. This boulder makes life fucking annoying. Mm. Mm. Quarter tree. Oh crap 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 crap. It's looking at you. Right now we get the good. It's just doing the back. I wasn't worried. It's getting a look at you more than it is me. Oh, I've just jammed myself in a fir tree. You fool. Right. Oh, God. Meg. Sorry, I stepped on the thing. Sorry. So, Snuggly says, there's a thing I really want to tell you guys about that you can't find through normal gameplay unless you're lucky. Um, what do you think, Kyle? I I'd be down to hear about this one, just because... Yeah, alright, I'm down. So, like, Snuggly, yeah. we yeah. talk a lot about different games here, we play a lot of different games. <laughs> oh! Subway 200 bonus 20 Behold, the field in which I grow my facts, and lo, observe that it is barren. The crop has been particularly drought this year. Oh. Alright, so the unspoken was saying, don't touch the doors, they mean to. I was also saying, turn around to where you were. Okay. Alright, I don't see any lucids. I saw a sleeper walking around. Just doing his thing. Yeah. But then, as you know, like, this game does a great job of escalating. And I guess those speakers are going to be something to do with how they... Uh, Like, Lucid's we can handle. Alright, there's a couple down here I'm gonna grab. Oh. Alright, so... Unspoken and Snuggly were saying that we need to... Head back to where we were. Good. Good, right? Oh shit! In HQ. That spot. You see it? And what's the club got to say? There's a lucid. Yes, there is. At least the posters are nice and quiet to put up. All right, so we need to head back to our spawn point. Oh shit, shit, shit. You good? No. No? No, I'm not good. I'm not good, it says we remember this one. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Oh. Kyle. What? Oh shit. You're not inside the house, are you? You're no. Outside. Okay. Oh, there's another message. I'm 
I'm not getting any messages. What can I Kyle can't... do for you? Nothing, apparently. I mean... I don't know. He's... What can I do? You're very good at getting caught by the shape. That is true. I am a good distraction. I am going to take the advice of, of Snuggly and Unspoken and head back towards uh, the spawn. No. We're doing okay. It's talking to me! What do I seek? What do we seek? Do we seek knowledge? Do we seek to understand? You seek these nuts. Boom! This is how you get cursed by deities! If your boyfriend's an evil ancient deity, you're single to me. What's he gonna- Oh, such a vulgar child! <laughs> Holy fuck! We're in so That's... much trouble! <laughs> if your boyfriend's an evil ancient deity, what's he gonna do? Possess me and take over my body? Snuggly says you should talk to him, he's very friendly. They uh... will find you. <laughs> oh fuck! Good? I'm not good. What happened? You, a lucid saw me? You tased a lucid. Oh yeah, he got tased. Uh, okay, we could try we could try talking to uh, it was speak Running will not make you good. <laughs> <laughs> Running doesn't solve the problem. I would disagree. <laughs> Running has solved many problems for me. So, okay, Snuggly saying we should try and talk- Oh, no. Your friend wants to be taken. It's very personal. They can- They can try. No, don't! Why?! <laughs> hey there, demons. It's me, your boy. We'll sing with us. All right, all I'm right. bone. I'm bone. <laughs> Did it see you or me? It sees me. Okay, okay. If it hears us, we can speak with it. It will right. bring you to the song. Okay. Speaks as one. What can I offer you for my friend's safety? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's gonna... You seek to sure join the song. <laughs> In exchange for my friend's safety, I will. Don't do that, Will. It's ridiculous. If that's what I gotta do! It's not- I will keep you safe! You're better at saving me than I am saving you! <laughs> you must both join us! Oh, come on! <laughs> what happened to negotiations?! Speaks as one. I seek my friend's safety! And to put some sweet posters up around town. We 
We offer I'm boned. safety for all. I'm boned. <laughs> oh, Ex all right. extremely all right. boned. And uh, you're running around. We offer safety for all. Like it's running across. Young Kyle will be safe with us. Um. Oh, nice rhyme, by the way. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm screwed. Goodbye. All right, young. It's still saying young Kyle will be safe with us. No, I won't. Um, no, I won't. All right, I'm just gonna let it get me. Beadora, what's a lifetime <laughs> offer? Buy two, pay for all. Angel's gone. I think. Yo. It left. How did you do yeah, that? Yeah, because it got me. Oh, hang on. <laughs> now he joins the song. Um, <laughs> so Snuggly saying he's very close to the frag, but I don't want to show him. You will be next. No. Frag. Oh, this is. Oh. Now, obviously, we are nothing but teenagers trying to survive this landscape, working together. And I will save you. I will save you. But you think you can hide? I can give it a bloody good go! Give it a bloody good go. Now, yeah, we are just two teams trying to survive this. This is not a game. If this were a game, what I would say to the creators and those who made it, that this is incredible and exceptional. And thank you so much for the work that you've done. Thank you for making something splendiferous. But this isn't a game. This is real. Two teens will speak as one. No! No! Like I said, it's a good thing this isn't a video game. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Snuggly. Snuggly. Uh, can, you, can you point me to the thing I should be looking at? I mean, I'm still going to save Kyle, and we'll go from there, but if I, if I volunteer, uh, you search for something. I, speaks as one, I, I search for that which we all look for. Uh, I, I search for knowledge. I search for um, uh, freedom, which is. Uh, I think I, I'm not. I'm not searching for anything in particular. No, no, no. If I was doing that, that would be ridiculous. Freedom. Is out God! Subway yes! 200 bonus 20 snugly play Africa by Toto. You fucking. Freedom is pain. Freedom is apparently getting Africa by Toto playing at you. <laughs> All right, I'm bringing you back, Kyle. I'm not leaving you. All right, foam, sleep it. Oh, we offer peace. Well, I'm here to bring the rains down in Africa. What can you, what can you offer in exchange for that? I, and friends, as I'm sure you've guessed, I get very, I, I get weird when I get nervous. And now I've got, fucking. The rain's down in Africa playing in my head. It's gonna take a lot to take me away from you. Oh no! <laughs> An ancient evil ought to do. I bless the rain's uh, down in Africa. Africa. It said no need to be nervous. It said no need to be nervous. The singing offends us! Okay, cool. Speaks as one does not like Toto. <laughs> Wait, what's all me? Hold the line. Dude, love isn't always on time. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Show this barbecue foot massage. You cannot hide from us. Yes, but I can give it a bloody good try. We see all crap. Joe, 
Sue's barbecue foot massage. He jumps at nothing like an animal. D I'm getting called out by the sleepers as well. Okay, do you see how many there are in this backyard? God bless the rains down in Africa. Africa! I can't sing. <clears throat> Not good. Gonna at take it. some time to do the things we never had. had. Oh. <laughs> no, you cannot. Oh, good. Do, 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 do. We will fix this. No. No. I'll fix you. Just... Wow, there are so many oh, peckin' creatures around me. Fuck. There are so many. Fuck. Wow. Bro, this is an awful situation. Got an idea. Don't worry. Is that to add your voice to the song? This is a terrible idea! Oh crap! Oh. There we go. Kyle, Kyle, stop running. Stop it's running, a literally, Kyle. it's a literally ah. horrible ah. idea, Will. Crap! 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 Oh god! It said, "Welcome home." Fuck! <laughs> oh, thank me. Apologize for my swears there, friends, but <laughs> it turns out Africa by Toto was not a good idea. Speaks does not like singing. Typical. <clears throat> oh, I need something stronger than water. Water too. Okay. Okay. Everyone's like, Speaksy is good fun. Like, yeah. Like is a strong term. All right, seeing as we got cut short, have you got time for one more, Kyle? Before we... Yeah. Because, uh, let's, Snuggly, let's Snuggly, let's try and... What was the thing you wanted us to have a look at? Because it was something near, but Snuggly didn't want us to go there while Speaksy was looking. So we had to avoid it while Speaksy's one was visible. That's fucking. Yo. All right, so we're gonna start again here. All right, Snuggly says it's called the name fragment. Okay. Really wish I'd saved one of those fucking um, god rocks. But like, did you like? Okay, you saw it from your perspective. They all started swarming around you to protect you from coming back. And then they yeah, started coming they after me, and then the shape came. Alright, so Unspoken and Snuggly uh, are saying, so it's when we spawned at the back corner, near the cliff, that's where we're heading to first, alright? Heads up, y'all. New mission. Alright, we got this. So we're not gonna say, we're not gonna say, we're just gonna go, alright? We're not right? gonna say what? Exactly. Oh, okay. So follow me. I've got no idea. Oh crap! My feckin' knees! Well. That wasn't the idea. idea. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I'm not doing that. So. Anyway. All demons can suck my nuts. Why are you like this? <laughs> You got this one? Yeah. All right. So in theory, it's over this way. All right. All right. <laughs> Alpha's pretty much summed up my entire life in one sentence. Will I've got an idea. Immediately does a stop it. So I guess I'm asking Snuggly and the Unspoken who have um, who have played more of these, like you've. Are there different deities that do the different deities mess with you in different ways? All right. Just looking for. Uh... Oh, there's another speed trap. Do you want that one? 
Ah, you're already ahead of me. Doesn't matter. Uh, so Stugly says that there are two deities that feck with us by text. Okay. And that the others can feck with us in different ways. Oh, okay. It's right there. I'm just gonna get it. Okay. Oh, but Snuggly will say no more about how the others work. Okay, and thank you. Alright. So... Flashlight plus closed eyes. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Oh, name fragment. Oh, okay. Fragment of a name. Okay. So I guess now we have to finish and find what that is. Okay. Hmm. Ah, so those are hidden like all over. But you can only see it if you're first flashing a light at it. Right, so we got to get back in underground, so that's going to be fun. We get tired of doing that. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a, a kitchen entrance in here. Hey. File that away. Please don't feckin' see me! Alright. Alright, I take it back. I don't think there's uh, an entrance in here. So, we could go back to our usual bunker entrance and just work our way to the underground again. Like, we know we that. could do that. Uh, also, Snuggly and Unspoken, thank you not only for kind of coming in and sharing your stories with us, but Thank you for not spoiling any of the what may come. I really, I really do mean that. Camera, stay out of the light. God bless this bench. It's like, I've got foam, but I don't want to waste it. You're being seen. You're being seen. Yes. That was on me. Are you still seen? I'm still seen. Time. I thought it was going to start doing a, um, a sweep of the area. Although one thing, so Clank's uh, trying to work out like um, how many concurrent players this game has, like how many people can they actively mess with. But this is one of those games where I would personally avoid knowing. Like, mm -hmm. I know I snuck a little, like, thank you to the dev team in there, but I tried to keep it in-universe, you know what I mean? Because they seem to yeah. recognize when I was asking them for things, right? Uh-huh. This game, the less I know about how it works mechanically, I think the more I'm going to enjoy it. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, you, you, can't, you can't game it. You can't game the game, so to speak, if the less you know. I mean, perhaps the, the flavor and the mood of this game changes at, like, like high tier. Ooh, I'm gonna get another mm -hmm. tranked off.
So one of the things I've noticed that I really like is that the different surfaces that you walk on elicit different noises. Yeah. Um, and I started paying attention to that when we went into the to the noisy room. Oh but, yeah. But now, um, to, like for example, depending on whether you're walking on concrete or grass, that changes uh, your footsteps. Absolutely with you there. Yeah. Crouching across is practically silent. Yeah. Oh, Kisa says, Yay, more Kyle! <laughs> Hi, Kisa. It's ugly saying the sound system is very thief, and I do agree. But, I mean, this whole thing feels very thief, you know what I mean? Oh, watch out. So do you have to do you have to give yourself over to a dream to pray to them, I wonder? Because I think that's what those things are we're hearing in dreams is people praying to their deities. You know what I mean? Interesting. Because we oh well, maybe we have had other deities actively messing with us and we just haven't noticed. Oh, and uh, aside from this guy doing laps, the back garden here is uh, clear, so if you want to use this as our way into the basement, we can. Oh, no. You know what? Affect that. Affect this. Affect all of these people here. Oh yeah, and those feckin' speed traps, the one that always messes me up is when they get my fecking um, drone and they're like, yo, yo, it's my drone now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the audio design in this is exceptional. Yeah, this, is, uh, this has been very interesting and good to play. And to think what this achieves without having like a player antagonist, that this doesn't do Dead by Daylight's Play every play every player. Yeah. The amount of this, which is like the game messes with you on a meta level, not on a directly, you know, uh, I'm gonna catch you and uh -oh. put you on a spike hook. Good. Yeah, I'm good. I just pushed the wrong button. Managed to bust that one a couple of times. Um, I did. A, I worked on a concept a while back for a D&D style game that mm -hmm. used uh, like active methods of fecking with players. Yeah. And we actually based it off of LARP systems, whereby if a if a player plays enough, they can be offered an NPC position, where mm -hmm. they have different powers, but they are then they then become part of the narrative. So they essentially right. become like part of the in the same way that people have like you know moderators and um, and fans working on like video game projects, mod projects, etc. Yeah. Right. There's the problem. Lucid, watch it. Right, once the lucid's gone around the corner, I'm going to try to do Will's cheeky drop trick. Because uh, I've got two lockpicks, so we can get into these choir. Oh no. Oh no. Lucid's off on an adventure. I've seen this before. There we go. Dreams. But. And then we've got two normal sleepwalkers here. Uh... Anything special in there? Maker and lockpick. So I can open this up because then we still have enough lockpicks to crack open everything else. And this is uh, this one down here is another sleeper trip wire. So it's your call if you want it. This guy plays his effect of accordion song. No, trip wire, good. That lucid's on its way back. Yeah, so let's get into the other room. There's um, another box over here. Uh, grab as we go past, I reckon. I reckon. Uh, and I will try and do um, a round of the uh, stalking mode. Mm. Hug the left wall and move past. Oh, fuck. There's a door right there. 
Taking the long way, and there's a chest right here. There's some foam and an yes. energy bar. That's what's for dinner. This is the long fall, I believe. And the long fall was someone was saying that you become a stalker. And... Good night, Beodora. I hope you get some good rest and you feel better. Yeah, oh, Beodora, have some excellent sleeps. Heal faster, right? All right, so we'll... sleeper. Do not there. even just. I, I'm gonna disable that foam because I got the love picks currently, right? Okay. Also, there's a sleeper downstairs on the kind of the glowy. But it's not gonna be in here. Do you have a lock pick? Yeah. Will, do you have a lock pick? I do. Have yeah. Good, right? All right, Texting cell HQ. phone, first move. Nice. Nice. Okay, what's next? Should we just get the S out of Dodge? Um, yeah, honestly, I would be fine with that. Um, there's another chest over here, however. I'm with so you. I'm gonna. I got a couple of track rounds, so if it gets if it gets hairy, we got this. Yeah. Though we will have to go the long Flash way around because of. Ooh, uh, we will have to go a long way around just because of that feckin' um, uh, noise trap. Yeah. Okay, so the red over here is silent. not so silent. There's a couple of goodie crates in here. I... The thing is, every time I'm like, nah, it's not worth just going and hoovering up more goodies. No, he's moving. He's moving. So I'm there. But the thing is, when it goes wrong, it goes wrong fast. Yeah. Alright, more foam in here. And I'll let you know what's over here. It's making little noises downstairs. There's more foam? There's more foam. Alright, there's more foam in both of these, but there's also this one coming around. So, yeah. Oh, look out, he's walking towards you. Yeah, just stick on the red. So, at least that means we can gum up the sound trap as we're making a move. Alright, so I've got three foams. We can handle this no problem. I have... So I've got two foams. I'm going to secure our... Uh, escape, because if, if this makes a noise... We good, dude. All right. That guy's moving again. Careful. Hug the outside. Save a raid, hug a wall. Save a raid, hug a wall. Report in two or three hours till dawn. No incident. Don't hit the door. Behind me? Yeah. Alright. Oh. Escape's coming. <sighs> Alright. I love how we both just get real quiet when things get tense. Right? <laughs> The thing is, when the deities are messing with us, like I, I get loud because I that, that's how I cut the tension most times. But yeah, did you see? Uh, did you see 
Quiet Place? That movie with John Krasinski? No, I okay. will have to at some point. I know this. I'm told it's, okay. it, it advertised itself as one thing and it's very much a, a monster movie. So, I'm not going to spoil anything about it, but it was really interesting to be in a theater where everybody was instantly in on, I guess, the gimmick. <laughs> if you want to call it that. Oh, Bear Toast says it is entirely worth seeing. I think we can, I think it's on varying streaming services. Yeah, um, it's definitely worth a watch. I mean, um, but try, try and make as much atmosphere for yourself as possible. Oh yeah. See, that's one of the things we don't really discuss in games that I always like talking to people about is, like, setting the stage, creating the atmosphere. You know, there are certain mm -hmm. pieces of art that, depending on how you're experiencing them, can drastically change your enjoyment of them. Yeah. The thing that we were saying at the beginning of this is that, friends, if you do decide to pick up the Blackout Club, find a couple of friends... Ooh, okay, there's a couple, but I can't handle it. Uh, pick up a copy of it. Uh, get you and your friends to pick up a copy of it and start playing it together Whoop. in the same way that one might do a board game, you know? Remember, sleepers could be family. They got CCTV. So, I don't know if they're doing this, but uh, it would be really wise to sell this game in a four pack. Yes. Because you want to start on the same footing as other people. So, I guess to well, like. Um, to uh, reconnect and other people who've been offering to join our game today. Uh, it's not that I don't want to hang with people, it's that I feel that your skill level is so above ours that it would be a very, very different experience. Oh, shush. Alright. Time for some, uh, time for some night night juice. Actually, I've got more sleeper traps than I have. So she's gonna knock herself out a bit. Oh yeah, and of course, uh, the piece of advice I should have listened to earlier, but I was freaking out too much. Turn the lights off. Wait for it. Wait for it. I got one. <laughs> she fell asleep on her face. I'm gonna put her in the bathroom. Oh, there's a basement. Oh, I found some more evidence. Interesting. Got it. This fox poster is evidence. It should be. Somebody's outside. I was looking at the lights. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did find some more, uh, some more bonus evidence. Oh, okay. So if we ever need to get into the underground from here, it's from under here. Okay. Okay. This this will help us. It is good knowledge to have. Oh, sorry, I, I almost missed uh, Bear Toast's comment of uh, when they saw um, uh, A Quiet Place, they were like, "I it's worth seeing, I recommend it, hated every moment of it. Yeah, I saw I saw that. It's a, it's a very smart movie, um, but I think that so much of the experience is improved by seeing it in the theater. So, which is why I said that you should try to uh, make as much of an atmosphere for yourself as possible. Whatever you could do to recreate that theater atmosphere, yeah. uh, even at home, would be the wise choice. One of the ones I've really wanted to watch is... Um, uh, the problem is I... Uh, I keep getting the name of it. 
is it is a horror film where a bunch of people break into what they think is a uh, disabled blind man's house. And it turns out that he's like crazy, super uh, um, ex special forces no and knocks them basically in with him. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. Doesn't appear to be evidence downstairs. So if we follow the muddy footprints, that's usually the best way to find stuff, right? Found one. So it looks like it's outside. Could be. Uh, I mean, there's a box of goodies out here, at the very least. Oh, okay, sorry. It is outside. I found it. All right, I'm just <clears> gonna get it recorded and then. You kidding this? Cool. So, so now we... Now we bounce. I'm gonna go out the back. <laughs> you know what? That's a smart idea. I'm gonna join you. A nice little midnight stroll through the back gardens yeah. of a sleepy neighborhood called Oh Fuck What Is That? It's not actually the name of the town, that's just the noise that most people make when they go through it. Don't breathe, huh? All right. Oh, is it called Don't Breathe? Okay, keep an eye out for that one. Oh, watch out. What is it? No, it's just saying if you're going to... Don't drop down because the fucking oh, God, yeah. demon gate is there. Just get the wee out of me more times than I care to admit. Yeah, there's another one right here too, so... Travel with caution. Yo, a sleeper just came out of the demon gate. What? I, I shit no. you not. I shit you not. Just literally came out of a sleeper gate. A sleeper just literally came out of a demon gate. I don't like that. And thus a sleeper is born. Um, so that's how that's how they reproduce. <laughs> I heard the twanging sounds get the crud out of me. Oh, sorry, the thing, the, the point that I was dancing around um, mm -hmm. was that the pacing of this game is also part of why it's brilliant. Mm. Uh, I love Left 4 Dead. I love it with a passion. But Left 4 Dead suffers the action movie problem, whereby there's always escalating stakes, right? There's always an escalating action point. There's a Lucid right here. All right, I can drop him. You can tag him. Um, no, not that one. But there's another one lurking around nearby that is a lucid for sure. Alright, I got because two. I, saw them. I got two crossbow yep, bolts. There. We right there. Um, there. I think. Uh, it's alright, it's just a sleeper. Okay. I saw something with a flashlight. I do not doubt you. Uh, I got two crossbow bolts. So we can, we can do enforced nap time. I mean, let's to, try to, yeah, let's try to avoid it. Like, if if you could get fast action sleeper darts like that, I'd probably just be like every couple of nights, be like, damn, I really can't get to sleep. Katunk. Yeah, if only, right? I can't tell if I can hear something or if it's the. What general... ho, great blue heron? Hey, what ho to you? Watch out for the speed trap. Yep. I think that, like, don't get okay. careless. Yeah. <laughs> don't just go and walk straight into that and be like, Oh, hey, what's this thing do? <laughs> Alright, looks like we pulled it off, friend. Sorry, the point I was making is the chasing of this. Saw, we still do not catch freeze. Um, that having missions like this where everything goes good. Mm-hmm. I got 420 experience. Hell yeah. Already blaze it! Blaze it. Blaze it! Um, but yeah, the missions like this where it just goes smooth and everything comes together creates this wonderful pacing. Uh huh. Because you're always on edge. But it can't always be, and then the monster shows up and messes up your day because then you get used to the pattern. You get mm -hmm. used to the rhythm of it. 
you've got to be able to have downtime to have these moments of super tension. Also, mm -hmm. I've got another dream I need to listen to. Yeah, same. Let's do this. I need help. I, need help. I, I don't I know what the hell I'm help. doing. And um, um don't, don't be, be doing don't no crazy gaming shit. shit. No! That unspoken guy is like, oh, hi, Hunter. Alright, so you're telling me if I go over here. Then it's the choices. So speakers one knows us. Uh, they're all the enemy. If I do this, I can't tell the club. Uh, Ivy Dare. In her teeth. Last laugh. Dance for us. Seed the grudge. Measured cuts. Die for you. Clank's asking, what do the voices do? That is a whole nother kettle of monkeys. Uh, but I guess the answer that, we don't know yet. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Snuggly's saying that they don't know what uh, the idea sounds like. It just sounded backwards. Hmm. Great Blue Heron, it did not sound like a shark! So I'm gonna back out, because I'm not quite ready to give up a character that can take it forward. Yeah. But also, like, it's one of the interesting things that Left 4 Dead, they chose to do, like, weekly and daily challenges and things like that. They chose to focus on the gameplay. But if mm -hmm. this has an evolving narrative, if this has elements both story wise and gameplay wise that are added that are evolved, like, isn't that almost a, a better articulation of that? Um, like, yes and no. I mean, it depends on the audience that you're speaking to, but I definitely find, I definitely find this more engaging, uh, in the sense that I would probably pursue, like, solo play for this, uh, just so I can learn more about the lore. Uh, obviously it's, like, more fun to play with friends and learn about it together and then have the conversations about, like, uh, it's like, oh, what do you think is happening? Shay! Um. What a friend! Shay just brought us 33 friends. Um, so what I'll do, Kyle, is, I mean, stay as long as you want. Yeah, of course, I can hang out for a bit. If you're heading out at any point, uh, I'll try and stalk some people or do something crazy. So, yeah. to Shay and all of Shay's crew, I say, what a friends! We are still playing the Blackout Club. It's still exceptional. We've seen some crazy stuff. We've had some insanely good moments today. How are you all? Shay, what? Oh, good. Those are still up. <laughs> Yay! I paced him out as well. So Shay's saying today was good. Well, Shay, the disembodied voice in the line is my is my good friend and industry cool kid uh, Kyle Gatto. We started playing this last week just as a whim and it is brilliant. So Kyle, yeah, I am I'm not going to play any more while uh, until we can reconvene after TwitchCon, I promise you that. Yeah, for sure, well, absolutely. I'm going to play the Stalker mission uh, mm -hmm. if you have to head out or if you've got time for one more then feckin' yes. Oh, I've I've quit out. I think I'm good for the day. <laughs> That's entirely understandable. So if I quit current session, and I'll try and get into a, a mission. So, yeah. Uh, Shay, I'm really glad to hear today was good. So if uh, Shay and Shay's crew... Uh, oh, and Shay's going to head to the store. Go, do a thing. I'm going to see you later. Brilliant. But at the very least, I'm going to see you at TwitchCon next week. So, fucking yeah, yeah. So. God, sorry. I can't believe TwitchCon is next week. Uh, I know. Thankfully, I don't have as much going on as I do at like a PAX or a GDC, so I'm For not sure. freaking out, but it's different. Hmm. Um, so yeah, 
those of you that have just come over, Wato and welcome. If by some reason we have never met, my name is Will and it's lovely to make your acquaintance. Uh, I did 10 years in the games industry and now, especially specifically thanks to, to Thor and Shay, I now stream full time. Uh, and because of that, I get to play great games like this and talk to great friends like Kyle and do that as a thing that is how I pay my bills and don't die. <laughs> how was that? I think that was a good intro. Yeah, that was pretty good. Concise. On point. Um, well, that's cool. Uh, you keep your unlocks for the stalker. Oh, interesting. All right. So, friends, this is the Blackout Club. It is a four-player, I mean, we've been playing it too, but it's a four-player co-op stealth game with some crazy-ass brilliant horror. It is basically what would happen if you took Thief, Left 4 Dead, Gloomhaven, and smashed them all together with an overarching thing where the development team or the system itself can at any point actively mess with you. It's brilliant. Uh, Reconnect says, uh, how did you come up with the name for your team? Uh, do you mean... Um, uh, what... Uh, reconnect, what do you mean different? Let's see if we can find someone to invade. Damn it. Chorus. No missions to invade. Oh, so purchase a dossier. Okay. Oh, okay, so the dossier is the number of tries I get. I wish there was a, a way to find missions easily to invade. So I'm just going to check with you all. So, the thing you are seeing here, and I apologize it's a teeny tiny spoiler, but in late game, uh, other players can invade your session, but not in a Dark Souls, stab you in the back, destroy your progress kind of way. Uh, my goal is to invade, at least here if I can make this work, my goal would be to invade someone else's game, take video footage of them and report them to the evil villains. I ain't even joking. So we're not so much like, you know, jump in assassin, but we are an extra thing that other players out there will have to be wary of. So, yeah. Oh, those of you that came over from Shay's stream, what were you, what was going on with your lovely selves? What were you all up to? Darn it. Carl, I can't find the feckin' games. I'm sorry. Someone I'm sorry, to, Will. Someone needs to be invadable. Like, no. I'm surprised our game wasn't completely, like, jammed in. Oh, Reconnect just invaded one, so I've just got to keep trying. Hmm. Found one to invade. So oh, is friends, it happening? Yeah, it's happening. happening. All right. So my goal is going to be to basically play a teeny tiny little villain. I I am the I am the tattletale. Wait, wait. Uh, I guess I won. Did that count? Let's try let's try one more time for an invader mission. Alright, let's give that one a go. This means we can be invaded in the future. Yeah, well that's what I want to open up. Mmm. This kid's out on his own. Leviathan, the beast of us. Alright, so this is really surreal. Uh, the way I flip between different... Right. Wow, yeah. And then they've got four players in this game. Cool. 
You got a little sin meter? Yep. No eyes on it yet. It's something wrong. Oh, I can hear their sin reports as well. Yeah. Reports of unusual network traffic. I figure you can walk through those things. Yep. Oh, reconnects like you're raiding my mission. Don't tell it where I am! Don't tell him where I am! Unusual activity. Inform the voice. Show yourself. Found altered systems. Check them all. I love sinning. Ah, curses. Ah, oh, well, it's a good shot. Got six stalker photos. Oops. <laughs> Alright, once more with feeling. Uh, and reconnect, thank you for not telling. I was being very, very blasé there. Uh, Snuggly says, I think you're opted in for stalking now. Sure is. Uh, Reinerd says, is capturing a stalker a sin in this game? I think it is. I think it's the opposite of a sin. Because if I'm really, the sins are like uh, actions you do in game that can potentially kick off um, the the shape and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Friends, and for those of you that came over from Shay Stream and stuff, if this is your first time seeing this game, it is exceptional. What I've been saying to people is that if you want to have a great time with this, find uh, find a couple friends, all pick this game up together and play it together. Just play it as a group. Treat it like a board game. Treat it like um, Pandemic Legacy or Doom, uh, Gloomhaven or anything like that. Also, I do apologize. There was a spooky anonymous ghost that dropped, and I quote, 69 bits earlier today. <laughs> nice. Feckin' legends. Dokies. Let me see if I can get one more stalking session. Um, Snuggly's saying that they think, yeah, we're opted into stalking now, so that should make it more interesting. Uh, but for win or lose, I've made that person's session a little bit harder, so that'll be fun. But the stalking is more like um, like a, a tag game, like a tattletale, than it's necessarily like um, a standard like deathmatchy PvP I really like. Oh, speaking of Tattletail, did you play that game by any chance? The one with, like, essentially the horror Furby? Uh, no, I suppose not. Oh, it's terrifying. Huh. And yes, I am pouring myself both more water and more coffee. Uh, it was very kind of, like, uh, in the vein of, like, new wave horror. Very much in that style, but you have, like, a little Furby with you. And you have to maintain your Furby's needs, otherwise it starts making a shite ton of noise. And the thing is, it's not just your Furby you have to worry about, because Mama is always watching. Oh, come on, give me a mission. Ah, Lily Longbean! What, old friend? I've been waiting for you. <laughs> okay, the way I said that sounded creepy. Um... And Kyle, I've been sitting up next to this box all day. I've been sitting next to this box all day. So, ladies, gentlemen, and individuals of all persuasions, I'm going to do a quick, cheeky uh, unboxer package break. Uh, <laughs> oh, ye! <yeah. laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I just need to quickly take uh, Lily's personal information off this, so I'm not doxing anyone today. I, I don't know if you've ever seen, uh, like, those... Subway Why? 200 bonus 20 woot. Why? I'm opening a package here! While also trying to get us into a game. Um, I completely lost my train of thought, but let's go back to that one. Um, so, yeah, so... 
uh, I've always loved the idea, Kyle, of like drop-in, drop-out multiplayer games where you don't necessarily know other people are in. Mm -hmm. I thought Dark Souls was always an unfair comparison because that gets real messy real fast. You know, the whole point of invaders in Dark Souls is just to mess up someone else's day, right? But in this, I mean, yes, the the stalker is there to do. Um, is there to to make the the blackout clubs like more difficult, right? Mm -hmm. But their role isn't as antagonist. They're they're complementary to everything else that's going on. Or have I gone completely off the the, the deep end here? Um, I don't know. I think it's just uh, I think it's another part of how the universe works, because. While we were reading at the uh, the altar, the offering altar. Yeah. Um... Oh, here we go. Oh, I got one. Sorry, yeah. I was just kind of... No, you're fine. Um, right. One second. You, like you, you, you saw an anonymous person talking yeah. about like you know betraying the club. So I I guess it's just another instance of uh, universe building, and I think that's that's cool. Um, so Lily, I'm going to open that package in just a moment, so... Ah, uh, okay. But as the sleepers and other monsters find them, they give me info. So if they get spotted, I know where they are. That's real cool. I do wonder what happens right, so they're still some down. evidence of intrusion. Inconclusive. Interesting. They very much split up. Sorry, uh Carl, I uh, apologize for that half finished thought. No, you're fine. Uh the idea that I was pondering on was that I wonder if the deities will talk to me while they're messing with they us. Custody. Find the escape oh, and can I steal their items? Oh! <laughs> it seems like you can only use one of them at a time, though. Flashbangs. 
Uh, Snugly saying, uh, speaks as one might talk to us now. Interesting. I'd, I'd be curious, you know what I mean? We're tracking them, but they're high. Coming for you. Damn, he takes the heck out of that dude. No eyes on it yet, but something's wrong. No on, eyes kids. on it yet, but Chase something's me. wrong. Chase me! <laughs> oh, piss. Ah, it was worth it. It was worth it! Uh, Rhino said, is a child about to be flashbanged? Three times. That kid's got permanent tinnitus now. Oh, I kind of almost wish I could stick around for the rest of that match, you know? Yeah, just to see what happens. Yeah. But then that would be a little bit crappy for like... Alright. Well, we'll roll once more. Alright, and I'm gonna... Okay! So, I... In the back... Oh! Yes, in a bin bag! Big dog, you scared the crud out of me! Uh, Kyle, I literally had my finger on the button to switch scenes in the stream deck, and it just <laughs> scared the bejesus out of me. Uh, to B Dog, thank you kindly. So, very quickly, friendos, as I do not want to eat your time, I got a present! I got a present from Lily, and I'm going to open it, because I said I would. And I've been waiting for Lily to be here all day, because I didn't want to open it without him. So, I got my magical key. Get it turned into this box. Because yeah. I don't trust myself with a knife when I'm streaming, dude. And well, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> oh, I should have known. It's full of bloody worms. Look at a little stupid squidgy. <laughs> Look at them! More worms! And then we've got this one. Of oh, this worm. Look at it, little... Because mm. Beodora made us these tiny little crocheted ones. Mm -hmm. And little faces. Oh, and Kyle, if you haven't played Whoopo yet, you deserve that. Oh my god. It's on Switch now. Look at this one! Squishy like a beach ball. Look at little squishy one face. Mm. These are fucking lovely. Lily, thank you. You absolute legend. I, I do not know why Whoopo ended up being such a big part of our of our culture. But it has. So Lily Longbean, sincerely thank you. Look at it. Look at it, it's so squishy. It's so squishy. Mm. Right, let's go back to committing crimes on children. I mean, what? I mean, what? Yeah, Lily, they are lovely. Thank you kindly. Oh, and I'm back in. Uh, sorry, Carl, I do apologise. I've been talking at you quite a lot for, since we started doing these invasions. No, you're fine, my man. I'm just kind of, I'm like, low on energy now, so I'm like, mm, am I sleepy? Should I nap? <laughs> I mean, nap time is best time, right? Oh my god, I love to nap. Born to nap. Actually, here's an idea. So I can exit this door, right? Uh-huh. I can spend my hard-earned goodies... On... Reports coming in. No, I can't. Alright. No, not here. Curses. I had an idea. The idea was I was basically just going to steal... Uh, all the goodies that, uh... Oh! Sideways. Subway 200 bonus 20. It's because Wepo taught us how to double jump. But, I forget. How do I do that again? Oh, dear lord. So, Shackled Ricardus. Thank you kindly for 200 bits. But also, let me tell you how you double jump, right? First you jump. And then you jump again. And then you jump again. That's it. That's it. 
Oh, B Dog says, okay, so chat takes 10 minutes to load. Uh, sorry about the scare. No, don't apologize. We have actively turned those on today, so you are weapons free. Oh, God, that's my knees. I still have child's. I still have a child's knees. Oh, can't open that. And I can't keep it. What I can do is I can go hoover up items that are going to make their life more difficult. I, sorry, I can't use lockpicks, alright. So I can use flashbangs. I can eat chalky bars and heal myself. Foam grenades are legit. Uh, Snuggly's saying join the Discord um, and find out more of the craziness around this game. Lose your mind! Have fun! Uh, I am not opposed to joining the Discord for this. At the moment, I am suffering, um, not Discord fatigue, but um, looking after the longship makes me very happy, but is a full-time profession. Some more stuff there. A B-Dog says, okay, so I need to talk on my PC and watch on my phone? Ooh. Oh, and it looks like um, it's 2am wherever Snuggly is and they are heading to bed. Snuggly, thank you so much. Thank you yeah. for showing us something cool well. things. Um, but point us in the direction of of cool stuff. Okay. So the limitations on what I can pick up are interesting. Alright, disturbance, where are they? Alright, they're still up top side. Let's go make their life difficult. Unusual activity. On the voice. Oh yeah, Relu says, yep, it's 2am in the UK. That is the... So they are across the road, huh? Um, but yeah, again, Snuggly, thank you for showing us so much. It's, it's always difficult hitting that sweet spot between... We're tracking them, but they're high. Oh. So if they take down something and I catch a, um, points of it, I can spawn more Sin Beater. Alright. Interesting. Alright, so they did two murders. If I can go record those... Assault victim found, no witness. Once they're out of there... They're waiting for me. Because the thing is, it's actually harder for me as the... as the stalker, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're at a disadvantage. You can't defend yourself. Well, I can flashbang the crap out of them if I find it funny. You can. Also, I believe I can head back into the doors. <sighs> oh yeah, because the doors are my the doors are my friend now, right? They are. <sighs> Alright, jump I'm running a little bit quickly there. Ah yes. Make a sound. Shapes out. Disturbance. Need to confirm. 
from source. Just the panic. Thank you. Oh. 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 Enjoy, friends. Ah! I'm messing up the day. I made friends with a sheep. You are absolutely ruining it. You monster. Disturbance. We need to confirm the source. It's brick. Alright, I'm gonna go find some goodies. Because the shape's been deployed now. Uh, I don't have a ladder to get up there. Because what I need to do is find like another like flashbang or something. We have these girls. The shape's here! You pride yourself, Will. Oh. Right so oh, much so. <laughs> Tell me you saw that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Whoever that is. Try to confirm. the baddie here <laughs> are are we the baddies shapes got ya more tracking the path so i need some more i need some more tools Kyle this is this is done <sighs> fun <laughs> Victory chocolate bar. I don't even need it. I don't even need it. I'm eating it because I want it. <laughs> oh, there you are. See, but I don't have like a flashbang or anything to throw over there. That's what I really need. It's very weird being close to shape, though. It's very weird. I just looked at the time, man. I do have to head out. No, no, Kyle, it's absolutely fine. Thank you for another cracking day, alright? Yeah, no, we have to do this again because we're making interesting progress for sure. There's so much this game that I would not have expected, and it keeps impressing me. Yeah, it's a gift that keeps on giving. Bloody is and all. Alright, everyone. Thank you again for having me. Will, thank you too. Of course. It's always joy and pleasure, friend. And I'm like, I'm looking forward to TwitchCon being over so that we can do some more of this because this has been fucking marvelous. <laughs> For sure. So yeah, I will. I will. Ooh. All right, yeah. everyone. Take good care. Have a nice evening. Reports coming in. Hail hydrate. Hail hydrate. Oh, they rescued one. Okay, thank you again, Kyle! Some, time to stalk some children. 
going down someone someone tell the voice someone tell the voice I deserve a promotion I will be signing autographs after the show. What do you mean, saved by the shade? That was all skill all the time. Holy Toledo's. So I do want to apologize for Kyle there. Like, I, I should have given him a proper send off. So, friendos, um, I believe uh, it is. Uh, I believe they are Kyle Glado on uh, Twitch as well as Twitter's. So please, if someone, hang on, let me let me bring up their let me bring up their feck in Twitch, because I definitely owe them a proper decent plug, you know. Uh, why do I not have? All right, bear with me a second. Um, today was another splendiferous day, and I had an amazing time. Lily Longbean, thank you for the worms. I got a little squad of worms. The little faces. It is a very good thing that I have my own room with lots of space for cuddly things because that's a lot of cuddly things. You know what I'm saying? So. Now I need to find Kyle on Twitch so I can throw them a shout out. There we go. So, dear friendos, this is Kyle's channel. Please throw them a follow. I would sincerely appreciate that. Like, we've been playing so much of this and been having such a good time. I really, really want to support... <laughs> I want to support the Blackout Club as well. Bloody hell. Yeah, let me get a feckin' link for that and all. I mean, what this game does to me in the best way... Like, now I know it's made by the same people that did the feckin', um... Uh, the Magic Circle. Like, that's a game changer. And again, if you haven't played the Magic Circle, you need that in your life. You deserve it. Like, for, for serious. God. This game is feckin' brilliant. So, yeah, I don't know if I have, I don't know if I have anything clever to add. I don't know if I have anything smart. Um, tomorrow we're going to be playing um, Goose Game. Not just Goose Game, but Untitled Goose Game. And it's, I think it's going to be a stonker. So, yo. Um, quick reminders. So, Saturday. Uh, Saturday is being moved to Sunday. Memory equals null will be on Sunday this week. 
So for the continued adventures of Thick McRan Fast, uh, that is exactly where you need to be going. Uh, Saturday, there may be streams, but uh, I'm doing, um, well, I guess uh, I don't need to be held to any kind of like dark secrecy. Um, I am going to a Konami press event for a new Contra video game. And they are actually covering me to come on over, so it should be a feckin' Jack's like, did you run this by the president of calendars? I am the law now. I am the calendar law! Sorry. Uh, no, I will be doing a proper paid event on Saturday, so that's gonna be super cool. That's that's what all this regular ass kicking has gotten us, dear friends. Um, oh! And we're gonna try doing this uh, community, gift, uh, ch community gift chess again. Because I'm going to be running credits, and then we will we will chuck those out. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, uh, any of the Twitch Prime stuff you've been given that you either don't want or already have, you can give to other people just straight through Twitch. Um, so this thing, uh, I think the current one at the moment is the Dauntless gl uh, Gunslinger Bundle. But it's... Oh, yes. Sorry. Thank you, Caffeine. God, I'm so glad someone's here to keep me on track. I'm so glad someone's here to keep me on track. Let's get some, let's get some bleep loops going. So, we are doing an event across TwitchCon. Because I'm going to be gone for most of next week. I'll be gone from Thursday, and I'll be back following Tuesday. However, we are not going to leave you all without something to do. So, what Caffeine is going to be running is a PvE. Not PvP, a PvE. Feck with that! Well, that was strange. Uh, we're gonna be running a PVE hardcore server of Ark Survival Evolved. I believe Caffeine said it's one of the, the new free maps. No mods, no faffing about, just ready to roll. And you are all cordially invited to join us. It's gonna be uh, for the Longship crew. We're gonna do a full stream of it on the first day. And when I return from TwitchCon, we'll do a full stream of it then. So I get to see the beginnings of the longship-like survival colony. And then I'll be there for the after. And Kestrel, of course you're going to die. Everyone's going to die a whole bunch. The PV, the hardcore is to give that some weight. And to stop people blitzing ahead too, too fast. But also to, to give some story, some cadence. Like, it's not going to be about murdering your friends, but who knows what's going to come from this. I've done PvE Hardcore before, and it's like we've lost people on boating trips to icicles, rogue tyrannosaurs. It's been, it's been dope. And I want you all to have that experience. I want you all to have those stories. Hey! I've made it. Quasi what, oh friend? Uh, I'm just actually starting to uh, to wrap up the show today. I'm sorry, but it's been a it's been a ruddy good go. Right, it's been a ruddy good go, uh, and I'm obviously going to throw people over to uh, to Fiona in just a second because uh, I've got to make it across town a rush hour. Well, Quasi, thank you for the Twitch Prime. That's still 11 months. Like next month, feckin' uh, October, people are going to be proccing their 12 month victories. Not too shabby, that friend. Not too shabby. But that's another story. That's another story. Right. As I'm sure you can all see, six hours at the Blackout Club has me wide-eyed and slightly looking off into the distance. This game is exceptional, but it certainly takes a toll. Thank you everybody who's been making clips of this, because I'm absolutely going to go and watch those. But first, I have a lot of people to thank. So let's do this. <laughs> right. So first up, Nom Nom Fighter, for scaring the heck out of me sideways, I do want to say thank you for the cash money donation. It really does help. But, to Tenwin, Quasi, Caffeine, Jaralan, Katros, J-Post, it's DX Man, Shaft, Draconis, Vanderbeast, Jack Skulch, and Sir John Bacon, 
the sixth, along with anonymous cheer, is thank you. This operation is pretty much funded by Bits, so it's all a massive help. To Caffeine and Talicus, and did we see a Lizzie today? Was I hallucinating? Well, to all of our wonderful moderators, thank you kindly. Why you lot put up with me, I do not know. But the new followers that we gained are B Dog, 2003, uh, Nate, Reconnect, uh, I want to say Lisbo, uh, that unspoken guy, Beef Nugget Stew, thank you kindly for the follows. To uh, that unspoken guy, Reconnect of Quasimoto, thank you for coming here, celebrating yourselves, or being the recipients of House Carl's Hunt. I want to say an additional thank you to all the people from the kind of Blackout Club community who showed us cool stuff, didn't spoil things, and were genuinely just awesome. Now, let's distribute all those wonderful gifts and go crash into Fiona. So, in a couple of seconds, all the gifts that you all threw into the chest will be thrown to the crowds. It's a nice little, like, end of day celebration. Oh! So, uh, Dr. Cube, uh, that one Jake B, uh, Elastic Boy to Dreamer, Tavish, uh, 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 Tavish Sen, Patriotic Oreo, Shackle to Connors, Lily Longbean, Atomic Nibble, uh, Pitch Black, and Jin Net all received copies of the Dauntless Gunslinger bundle, because why the bloody hell not? And those were given out by Clank, Vanderbeast, Jax, uh, 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 Patch Rabbit, Rikiro, uh, Kestrel, Gold. Thank you all. Thank you all. But, we got some friendos to crash into, so let's get it done. Let's get it done. We got stuff to do and people to see. Right. Once again, friends, thank you so much for a splendid day. Tomorrow, be jamming on some feckin' um, some geese doing bastard things. So, yeah, I hope to see you then. If you can forgive my sorry ass for being all over the place. All right, let's feckin' shake things up a little bit. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.